and he gives her the heart of the ocean. Jack didn't give her the heart. You are holding the representation of Billy Zane's hold over Kate Winslet, or Rose. <laughs> yes and no, though. This is the heart of the ocean, but Rose's heart is with Jack, who is in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to hack the movies. Today, we're talking about tapes with Tony and Johanna. And what's her face? About tapes. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Hack the Movies video. And today we're joined by the beautiful, the lovely, the graceful, the amazing Trisha from yes. Trisha's Italy. <laughs> Hello, Trisha. How are you? Buongiorno, Tony. You for, come stai? Thank you for coming back. One second. Ma'am, do you need help? Are you looking for a tape? <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sorry, that's, that's Johanna. That's a, she makes me do that Godzilla podcast like Godzilla's lame, you make right? me I don't know what you're talking about okay so we're here to talk about Titanic and what a great time to talk about Titanic because we're currently in the store the store hit an iceberg and now we're sinking <laughs> I'm sure someone's gonna come at any moment it really sucks living in a flood zone no, that is terrible. also an iceberg zone oh no I did not do a good job of picking the location thanks for telling me I didn't know that oh well sorry <laughs> great well, so, you know, it's going to take like three hours for this thing to sink. And what better amount of time to talk about Titanic? Uh, yes, this very famous movie. Did you know this movie won 11 Academy Awards? Yeah. Yeah. He's How did you know? Because they put it on the back of every goddamn <laughs> box. Well, I also watched. <laughs> <laughs> and I have the prestigious widescreen edition. Third class over there has just the full screen edition. <laughs> Losers, am I right? We know how to party at least. <laughs> I don't care and if we die. Trisha, can you hand me that DVD? So when I went no. to take Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> when I went to take notes on Titanic, I was like, I'll, I'll do it at home. I don't have my VHS player at home. Well, I do, but I'm like, oh, I have this nice TV. Mm -hmm. Let me watch Titanic in HD for the yeah. well, not HD, but like a nicer definition. Nice version. I haven't seen this since VHS. Oh, it's been a very God. long time. So I, I went to the thrift store and I grabbed Titanic. Fun fact, every thrift store has Titanic. You can't go to a thrift store that doesn't have a copy of Titanic. Yeah, of I always see this. Yeah. Really? I always see mm -hmm. the standard one. The so I bought Titanic on DVD and I forgot the, the rule that I learned. Mm -hmm. Always check the goddamn <laughs> case. You didn't check it. I didn't check it. So I went, uh, uh, like because we were supposed to do this a few months ago. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well. Let me snap this baby open and do some notes. And I was yeah. like, those sons of bitches got me again. And it was the same store that screwed me over last oh, time. Oh, no. Like, again. Yeah, my copy of Lake Placid is not Lake Placid. It's some guy's weird home video. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, I don't even want to know about that. <laughs> I can't imagine. So, yes, we're talking about Titanic now. I think we all remember this movie when it came out. Johanna, did you like this movie when it came out? Duh. So you did? You I'm, I'm a woman, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a stare. I'm sorry. Those third class no, hack right. movies employees, they're just, they're You're very so rude. Annoying. <laughs> they're very rude. <laughs> Tell me about it. I know that from third grade. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, here's a fun story. China, you're not the only one I've been mean to. Uh, this was like the first, like, this is like the first, like, <laughs> mean prank I've ever pulled. I'm actually pretty proud of it. Uh, you were it at the time. Not at so the So I sat next to Trisha in third grade. This, this fucking broad would not shut up about Titanic. You talk about Titanic. I was obsessed. You were obsessed, obsessed. with Titanic. <laughs> I would come into homeroom singing My Heart Will Go On. Like, <laughs> yeah. You would literally You're tell like me really shut really into up. Titanic. <laughs> And I, granted, I was into stupid shit too, but like, I was just like, oh my God, she never shuts up about Leonardo DiCaprio, Leonardo DiCaprio. So oh. I, I came up with a really funny idea. There was a carnival going on and they were selling posters of Leonardo DiCaprio. And I got my cousin to win a contest, win like a dart throwing you thing. You wanted that poster, Tony. You won no, it yourself. No, you no, it yourself. no. This is pretty good. So I got my cousin <laughs> to win the dart throwing thing because I can't throw darts. <laughs> what can you do? Yeah, so she she won me the Leonardo DiCaprio poster. And you know what? She's older than me. And mm -hmm. I told her what I was using it for. And being the older person, she should have been like, hey, Tony, this is a bad idea. It's just probably story worse. You probably shouldn't do this. Yeah, but instead she mean. was like, instead she was like, yeah, that sounds funny. Let's do it. Oh, so you had an accomplice? I didn't know that. I thought it was yeah. just you. You think I'm going to win a dart throwing oh poster contest? God. So then I grabbed the poster of Leonardo DiCaprio. And I drew all over his face, and I wrote Leonardo die <laughs> crappio. Yeah. And then I uh, the next day, 
Next oh my thing, God, I'm like, those words give me PTSD. Tr- Trisha, I got you something. You're like, what? I'm like, yeah. And then she opened it up and she just started crying her eyes out. <laughs> I was bawling. And I'm like, so oh upset. no, that I felt guilty. But then like years later, I'm like, man, that was really you funny. You drew like double ears and then he yeah. had like all of his teeth blacked out. And then and then years oh. years later, we reunite and we're like talking. And you're like, oh, I still remember that Leonardo thing. I'm like, son of a bitch. I thought you'd forget about that. You know, if you were more clever, you should have just put a cut out of your own face. Yeah, that would have been pretty funny. Right. But I wasn't clever. Yeah, well, you I wasn't still clever. Aren't. <laughs> still not. Okay. <laughs> So, sorry about that. Yeah, <laughs> apology <laughs> not taken. Let's talk about James Cameron's Titanic. I love James Cameron. Not all his movies, but I'm um, big James Cameron. Or do you even, have you seen any other James I've seen Cam- Avatar. And then I don't know what else he did. Have you seen the good James Cameron, <laughs> Terminator? Maybe. Terminator 2. No. Uh, Aliens. No. True Lies. <laughs> no. What else did he do? Uh Piranha to the spawning. Absolutely not. <laughs> he got fired from that one. Um, Every other Titanic thing he did after this. Every other Titanic thing he's done after this. The Abyss. Well, didn't he do a documentary too? He did no, do a documentary. But did good. you see The Abyss? Mm-mm. <sighs> well, I guess when it comes to James Cameron, you pick the biggest one. But uh, I mean, we course. like James Cameron movies. Am I right? Okay. He's, it's okay. Yeah, we have a Terminator 2 cut out over there with Sylvester Stallone, the star nice. of Terminator 2. Um, yeah, so James Cameron, he decided, I'm going to make a movie about the Titanic sinking, because that's never been done before. Make it epic. It's been done many, many times. Yes. But at least this is the best one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I remember when this started being advertised, they made it seem like it was going to be like an intense, like thriller action movie, because that's what he was. Right. He was a big action guy, big special effects guy. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the thing, like, James Cameron, before he went all to CGI, he is, like, the special effects master. Like, he, um, Escape from New York, he did all the map map paintings on that. That's how he got his start. Mm -hmm. So, like, I was excited to see, like, a Titanic movie. Right. With, like, big Hollywood effects, like, the best thing ever. And then... Car crashes. Oh, wait, no. I'm actually... Knowing James Cameron, I'm shocked they didn't drive that car around the boat, to be honest. Right? I need the like, Fast and the Furious directors to direct a Titanic, the Titanic movie. Like, like, on the top, like an iceberg. <laughs> it's about that, at least. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, so... I was very excited, and then more advertisements for the movie came out, and Mm -hmm. eight-year-old Tony was like, oh, this doesn't look as cool as I thought. Suddenly, it was a romance. I mean, eight-year-old Trisha was like, I gotta see that. (laughs) (laughs) Now, his other movies had romance in them, but I think we could agree they were not built around the romance. Yeah, it wasn't the center of it. Yeah, like uh, Sarah Connor and Kyle Reese, like, yeah, there was romance there, but I I didn't think it was the greatest love story ever told. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sigourney Weaver's flirting with Michael Bean and the aliens. Cute, but not the greatest love story. <laughs> so then James Cameron decided to write the greatest love story ever told. So and true. He should know about love. He's been married <laughs> multiple times. He has experience. He was the perfect person to write this. And he knows about losing love because he got divorced <laughs> multiple times. There you go. <laughs> he left his uh, wife. Um, Catherine Bigelow. Yeah, for the uh, niece in this. Oh, Rose's no niece. Or, or I thought, is her niece or is her grand, granddaughter? Granddaughter. Yeah. Yes, yes. Whoever, oh. whatever. The girl yeah. that's with Rose. So the actual <laughs> actress and James Camp, no way. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I didn't is know that. that. Is this movie starts off with some old film reel of the Titanic taking off. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, all those people are going to die. Yeah. You you already know know the ending. Did you know the real story when you went into this movie? I didn't. I was eight. I had no idea. I just saw Jack and I was like, wow, that guy's hot. I gotta see that. I gotta get my parents to take me. (laughs) You're like, oh man, they're gonna have so much fun on this boat. Exactly. (laughs) Get together. Oh, I like going to the beach. I like boats. (laughs) Did you know about the true story? No, I didn't. Really? Did no no one know Mm -mm. about the true story? Afterwards, though, I became obsessed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I feel like like everything Titanic, like not like Mm -hmm. the Jack and Rose stuff. Like I actually like the actual ship stuff. I feel like we had a book about it in our Mm -hmm. grade school. Someone had like no like a book about the real event. The real, so I yeah, knew, yeah, yeah, the real Titanic. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so it starts off with all that, and it's kind of depressing. Because you're like, and they actually filmed on, like, an old mm-hmm. camera. There's yeah. something behind the scenes where he got, like, an old timey camera, because mm-hmm. he's insane. Yeah, he was he, really playing the timepiece there. He is, like, his attention to detail was 
Yeah. It was fucking good. bonkers. <laughs> it's like he like got like the blueprints and shit. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. Um, so in the future, we see Bill Paxton and he's like an oceanographer, dude. He's hunting for the heart of the ocean, which is right there, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I have it. I went into the ocean and I got it. Oh, you went in. I That's did. the deleted ending. An eight-year-old jumps off the boat. Bill exactly. still can't get it, though. <laughs> no, for real, for real now. You're not coming for it. Oh, poor Bill. Check out our Twister review. We reviewed Twister recently. And uh, he <laughs> finds the Titanic. And, like, this is actually incredible. They filmed the real Titanic. Yep. And then they build a miniature, and it blends so seamlessly mm -hmm. that I, I can't... I can tell, though. Now you that can? I know, yeah, now that I look at it, I'm like, okay, that's well, the real shot. That's the miniature. You know what? Insane. I could have told, but I did not watch this in HD. I watched it on VHS, yeah. <laughs> blown up onto a 4K TV, oh, so... I've, I've literally seen this, like, every type of way. Like, it came out in theaters again. Mm -hmm. I went. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I watched, uh, I watched it on VHS, and let me tell you, on VHS... Seamless, could not tell. <laughs> I really, I really miss miniatures in movies. The only director who still does it is Christopher Nolan. Guy really? does the Batman movies. Mm -hmm. Everyone went to digital, like right, everyone went to yeah. CGI. So it's nice to look, go back and look at like mm -hmm. miniature stuff. To the point they could have probably just all did all miniatures. They probably didn't need to go to the ocean, but James Cameron's insane. He's like, I need to see the Titanic. <laughs> Need to and goes this. back multiple times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he's only got a few times left. It's gonna completely crumble by twenty thirty seven. Is it really? It, yeah. That's it's, what it's a, and it's worse because people keep going, so it's mm. deteriorating faster. But it's like it's the bottom of the ocean. You know how much pressure is no, at the bottom of the ocean. Like I'm surprised it's lasted that. this long. Oh, that's so sad. So yeah, he's digging around the Titanic mm -hmm. and he finds a, a safe. Like, there must be something in there it. There has to oh. be something in it. <laughs> I like the one part where they go into like the bathroom and it's the bathtub yeah. and the one dude's like, oh, someone left the water running. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, is that the fat guy? Yeah. Lewis? I love the fat guy. I love the fat guy. He's great. The movie should have been about him. Best character. <laughs> they need a spinoff. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to bring him back. Uh, yeah. So they bring the safe aboard the ship and they're really, really happy and they're filming it. And pop the champagne. Yeah, they mm -hmm. pop the champagne and then they open it up and it's nothing. nothing. It looked like there was some money left in there too. Yeah, I think that's what those little like things that he was like scooping out. Because I'm pretty like, sure, like obviously later on, like Cal empties the safe. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he left some money in there. But it's like completely... Which must be nice. Like, oh, here's right. right. like, we'll exactly. like, <laughs> Well, those assholes thought they were getting back on the boat. I we'll guess. get to that. Um, but yeah, so uh, the guy makes a Geraldo reference and you didn't get the reference. Did you get it? Mm -mm. Geraldo Rivera, famous journalist and whatnot. Um, I think it was the 80s. Uh, he um, did a whole special. They were going to open Al Capone's tomb. Not Al Capone's tomb, like a secret vault. Mm -hmm. And it was like this big deal. They're going to open it live on TV. And then they open it. And it was nothing. Nothing. I think they found some like old wine. And that was like it. It's like <laughs> It was like a famous embarrassment. I don't quite know how to tell you this at uh, eight minutes to the hour, but we found another wall in there. I wonder if I can get a deposit on a 60-year-old bottle. You know, uh, when we began opening this vault nearly two hours ago, we had no real idea what we'd find inside. As it turns out, we haven't found very much, at least not, uh, not yet. And I promised all the critics that if we didn't find anything, I'd sing a song. So, uh, uh, Chicago, Chicago, that toddler town. All right, I'm going. I'll see you. Good night. I'm sorry. So that's why Lewis that's is like, I know it happened to Harold. Oh, okay. So, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. He said and he never uh, recovered, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is a joke. Yeah. He recovered. Um, that's funny. But yeah, let me see. Uh, they they found the nudie picture though. They yes, did. yes. They uh, they're running it under like a thing. Mm -hmm. that, that that survived. How did that survive? I was wondering that too. Like out of everything, the paint was like a fresh. Yeah, the money is like bleh, and then it's like the pictures like, right. oh yeah, just a little bit of mud on there. Okay. It's fine. Oh, I have to ask. But, uh, my girlfriend, she does charcoal paintings. Yeah, Maybe I gotta ask does. her, can they survive in a safe know. underneath the fucking Atlantic <laughs> right. Ocean? I don't know. I don't know. I don't but think yeah, so. <laughs> they survive, and Bill Paxton, he sees the picture and he's amazed. Not because he's looking at a drawing of a naked 17 year old, oh. that would be problematic. He's amazed <laughs> because she's wearing the heart of the ocean. <laughs> oh, and, then, and then on TV. So this was on the news. So yes. they were showing this naked woman on the news. Yeah, well, I guess with Rose. art, it's fine. You know what? <laughs> I, I can't guess. tell. You know what? Speaking of nudity, let's talk about boobs. Okay. So <laughs> this movie is PG-13. Mm -hmm. And the MPAA just let boobs be in it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure because it wasn't like a sexual thing going on. It was literally art. No, it's because they like James Cameron. Oh and they God. did it for James Cameron. Maybe. Because the MPAA is so freaking inconsistent. Mm -hmm. Like, there's old there's old PG movies with nudity in it, but now, like, you can't do it. Uh, what you call it? 
the first Raiders of the Lost Ark is PG and Indiana Jones just shoots a guy point blank in the head yeah. blood shoots right. everywhere. Yeah, no, that they are sense. very, they never follow their own bullshit mm-hmm. rules. I hate the MPAA. Yeah. Also, I, I'll tell a story about the naked scene when we get to it because I thought it was really funny. <laughs> so yeah, on the news, this is very, very important. Old lady is like, oh my God. Old lady. I remember that painting. I'm very old. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what she said? Is that her That's line? exactly what she said. To a T. So I guess she calls the boat? how that happen? Yeah, I don't know. Who, sh- who does she get in contact with? <laughs> I don't know. Hello, if I saw a boat on the TV, I, mean, I would have no idea how to fucking contact them. I don't know. But I uh, mean, now we can Google it. Then yeah. I don't know about then. Yeah, yeah. Maybe she contacted the news. That's why. And Maybe. They, like, that actually her. makes more Maybe. sense. And she's like, I know what happened to the heart of the ocean and... Normally, someone would be like, yeah, that's nice. Right, like they would clarify. And I actually see. have a phone. I don't, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> yeah. I have a phone. Yeah, that's nice. That's did they, nice. Like they didn't like verify or anything who she was. No, they, they were couldn't. Just like, Come on. The guy tells him, it's like, hey, this lady says she right. found the diamond, but there's no record there's of a no, Rose Dawson. Yeah. We can't find. So oh, also, she was her. an actor in the 20s, so she's probably lying. <laughs> <laughs> she probably wants attention. Exactly. And guess what? This fucking old lady definitely wants it. Rose oh, is yeah. awful. I hate Rose. Oh. She's so terrible. I like young Rose, but old Rose, yeah, I can see where you're coming from. It's yeah. like all about her. It's so like- fucking, they give in to her terrorist demands, I guess. <laughs> terrorist demands? <laughs> <laughs> and they, they fly her out to the boat. And right away, I'm just like, oh my God, she brought her emotional support chihuahua. I'm like, those poor bastards. And then they're um, empty in the yeah. helicopter. She brought her goldfish? <laughs> this this woman is she's so self-centered. In. She's huh? moving in. Yeah, she's moving <laughs> in. Like, what does she need the goldfish right. for? Like, She I, has no one to take care of it. I guess. A bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. No, grandkids. no other grandkids. You can find someone to take care of some goldfish. <laughs> Or just like, just get rid of the goldfish. I don't know. I mean, that wasn't weird. At the end, like, she has all of her pictures there, too. Yeah, she you brought know? all like, She literally pictures. brought her whole house she with her. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Bill Paxton would be like, wait, why does she need to come to the actual boat? Like, can't we just right. meet her at, like, a hotel or something? Right, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Go to a bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why, why are we bringing this old lady? She's, like, 104. <laughs> just go to her house. Uh, but yeah, Bill Paxson is like desperate, mm-hmm. desperate. He's like, here's some stuff we found at the bottom of the ocean. And she recognizes, where is it? Her stupid butterfly <laughs> pin. Why do you have that? Yeah. It's like a real replica. Ha- have you ever worn it? Why would I wear it? I don't want to break it. <laughs> well, Trish is being ballsy this wearing the, the heart first, of the ocean. This is the first time I've ever worn this, though. Really? I swear to God, it's been in the box for... Almost 30 years. <laughs> How old am I? <laughs> How does it feel now that you're wearing it? You, I actually feel amazing. Do you like feel this, entitled? I feel and, like I'm becoming Rose. Do you feel like you're going to ruin a poor man's life? <laughs> Could be. Yeah. <laughs> do you, I, oh, I noticed you brought your goldfish to the store. I did. I did. And I also brought some pictures from my house. I'm just going to hang them up on the wall. It seems to fit in. Trisha, you're not going to be here for like a few hours. Why didn't you bring your family album? I, you never know. <laughs> So yeah, she's looking at all the stuff, and then they were like, um, oh yeah, Pete, I don't understand this. They have Lewis tell her how the Titanic went down, mm-hmm. and I love his, his, I love his attention to these things. She's got a big old ass, and the ass is up in the air, and it's going down, and it's breaking, and blah, 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 so blah. Also, he's a Watchmen fan. He's got the happy yeah, face with the blood I on saw it that. from Watchmen. It's like a not, it's not quite the Watchmen logo, because I guess James Cameron couldn't get it. He's like, I'll do kind of a Watchmen logo. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so he's like just going on and on and on. She's like, all right, well, thank you for that. Right. Like, I, <laughs> I definitely remember it. that differently. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little different while being there. But he's so happy about it. And she's just like, that was the most depressing moment of my life. Yeah. But thank I you. literally watched people die. <laughs> yeah. So Bill Paxson's like, look, could you tell us what it was like on the Titanic? And also, could you, could you tell us where the heart of the ocean is? That's She only needs to answer two questions. Okay. <laughs> okay. How did the Titanic go down? And where's the heart, the heart of the ocean? Right. That's it. That's it. And in classic white woman fashion, she can't answer a question without making it all about herself. <laughs> so she starts with her life story and about. <laughs> well, it wasn't a life story. It was just that period of her life. Mm-hmm. It was funny. I was watching something on the nudes the other day. And like people were mad that a monument was being taken down. They asked a girl on the on the news like how she felt, and she's like, "Well, I woke up this morning and I was doing my yoga, and then I told blah blah." blah and oh, I'm like, no. "Oh my god, can just uh, just <laughs> just, just, just get to the goddamn <laughs> <Yeah>. point." 
<laughs> as soon as she said, when I pulled up in the car, Bill Paxton said, yeah, skip to the, the thing. I don't, I don't care. Just skip Where's to the, the park. Where's the necklace? Where's the diamond? <laughs> but no, she decides to be like, yeah, we were all going on the Titanic. We were going back to the beautiful enchanted land of Philadelphia. <laughs> Is. She's a Philly girl. <laughs> yeah. Yep. She does not sound like a Philly girl. Okay? You've <laughs> well, lost your Philly accent because you accent. travel too much. True. Rose doesn't sound anything like you. Okay? <laughs> but this she like sounds like ago. a Philly person in, uh, was it, uh, Mayor of... Uh, mm. What's that new show oh, on HBO? Yeah. Mayor of Easttown? Yeah. yeah. I didn't actually watch yeah, it. She has a Delco accent. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a little forced sometimes, whatever, because, like, I mean, it's hard to talk. Like, it's. Yeah. Yeah. Can you can you just redub the whole movie in, in like, an authentic Philly? Can we get Frank, your bro- her brother, oh has a God. thick Philly. Really her brother has a thick Philly accent. Can we even get him to do all Billy Zane's lines? He would probably do that in a heartbeat. Because my accent's, like, weird. Anthony. We'll get my friend Anthony. Yeah. He still has his thick <laughs> Philly really? accent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, they all they're all going on the boat. She's wearing a giant hat. Didn't someone like digitally make that hat real yes, giant? Yes, and, like, I've some, seen it. Yeah, I've someone seen it. digitally messed with the hat where she comes out of the car and it's oh, just gigantic. <laughs> uh, they good foreshadowing here. Mm-hmm. They set up putting the car on the Titanic. So later on, you're not like, why is there a car on the Titanic? Uh, okay, yeah. Right. They cut to the dogs entering the Titanic, mm-hmm. which is actually set up for a sad scene later, but it got cut out of the mm-hmm. movie. Where the, the, the guy from Young and the Restless is looking for his dogs, and then you just see them running on Aww. deck, and you're like, those dogs are dead. Aww. <laughs> Poor dogs. Uh, yeah, she's uh, she's not happy. She's not happy because this, this is terrible. She has to marry that insanely attractive Billy Zane. No, I feel so bad for her. Billy Zane? No, thank you. Look, Billy Zane can get it, but also Cal sucks. I don't know about that. Cal, he slaps her later. Yeah, he's not well, a nice person. It- <laughs> look, look, look. I think you guys are being discriminatory against people with uh, male pattern baldness. Uh, just what? You, you, you saw him wearing that toupee and you're like, he's too fake. He doesn't no. know how to be real with Rose, unlike Jack. But it's not his fault that he was balding at an early age. And I think he pulls off the toupee really well. Am I right? I didn't even know he was wearing a toupee. <laughs> oh, yeah, Billy Zane's wearing a toupee. I, like, I know he's like bald or whatever, but like I didn't realize. No, he's like, like Sean Connery. He was wearing a toupee for most of the movies, huh, you know? I didn't know that. <laughs> so that was definitely not why I don't like him. Because oh, I didn't even okay. know that. <laughs> okay, well, well, I really love the Phantom. Phantom yeah. Phantom's good. good. And so is Demon Knight. Demon Knight's really good. I love Billy Zane. Well, that's why James Cameron picked him, because of his role in the in the Phantom. Oh, really? Specifically the Phantom? Mm-hmm. That's actually pretty... Catherine Zeta-Jones from The Phantom was in the made-for-TV Titanic, so they all ended up in the Titanic. We just really liked that. I don't know. Phantom Um, is super underrated, and my goal one day is to get big enough that I can have Billy Zane on the show. And (laughs) if we get him in studio, I'm bringing you back, and I'm going to have him slap you around. You should bring Billy Zane so I can talk to him about Kingdom Hearts. And be like, why didn't you come back for the other ones? Your voice is amazing. (laughs) Uh, yeah, so they're they're on the boat. She's all sad. Her Wait, mom. I have to say something very important. Okay. okay, so James Cameron wanted to cast your favorite actor as Jack, Jared Leto. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Okay, look, 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 look. I don't have a problem with Jared Leto. Mm-hmm. I didn't like his Joker. I know someone else who hasn't done a video in a while. He should do another video again on Patreon called Joker Fan 279. He does not like Jared Leto. He does not, no. Where's he been? Mm. He's he was banned to Patreon, and then his his friend Mega Bat friend just keeps not showing up to do videos that no, we were promised. Not anyway, cool, uh, yeah, Jared Leto that probably would have been fine. No, I mean they were both at the same amount of popularity. At I that don't think point. they would have had the same chemistry. Mm-mm. Exactly, because he's creepy. Yeah, Jared Leto. Yeah. Did you see he did an interview recently where someone was telling him about uh, Urban Legends that slash movie he was in? Mm-hmm. And he didn't remember making it. And he's what? probably lying. But yeah, he pretended like he didn't know what the movie was. No way. Yeah. How do you not know? What an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> you're, right, you're, you're right. You're right. Fuck him. I'm team Leo now. Right? Exactly. There you <laughs> Even go. Even though uh, we cut to Leo uh, mm-hmm. and poor Fabrizio. 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 Cuore mio. It's very Italian. Best character in the whole film. <laughs> oh I my think we God. can all agree. Agreed. We can all agree. <laughs> I just I get real I got real sad watching it this time with Fabrizio. And did I'm like, you? I'm like wow, you Jack. Really felt for they him. did him so dirty too. It's like, like it's not even like oh like he drowned or whatever. Like no, the no, freaking smokestack like, hits Jack, him. Jack murders him. 
<laughs> Jack, I mean, and, and you know, he had so much to offer the world. <laughs> a brave Italian man, America could have He was going to make him. a life in America, exactly. He was. Yeah, he could have done anything. He could have stopped the Great Depression from happening. Probably. Him specifically. <laughs> but Jack wins uh, the poker tournament and wins the Titanic tickets. And then he brings Fabrizio aboard like to his doom. Huh? He was a true friend, though. He was bringing Fabrizio with him to America, this great land. It wasn't supposed to go down that and way. And they got all their money back. That's true. I do like when they go into the room mm -hmm. and the uh, Russians are like, where's Sven? Because like, the two guys just <laughs> lost their tickets. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but everyone's happy. They're all on the boat and they're all waving mm -hmm. goodbye to everyone for some reason, I guess. I guess they were hyping up the boat. They're like, it's on well, And also, like, they were saying bye to some family members, too. Yeah. I guess so. Also, this... This was probably a lesson to people to like, don't get too overconfident, because they they went around saying it's the unsinkable they ship. They kept foreshadowing that like crazy, like every yeah. other word was it's unsinkable. But that was like a real thing. They kept I bragging know. that the, those assholes at the White Star Line kept bragging <laughs> about how it was the unsinkable ship and it's great and it's perfect. And it's it like, sucks too because like, I saw like a documentary that if the ship would have just hit it head on, it would have been fine. It would have oh, just really? crushed the front. Oh, no. <laughs> but also like. The compartments and everything, like yeah, it would like how they hit it eventually, whatever. Yep. Um, it would have been fine, but if they just had more lifeboats, it would have been okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they were like, oh no, we'll be fine. Well, we we'll still have more deck space. Johanna, it was Terrible. unsinkable. <laughs> Meanwhile, like, it's like the most like their they their hubris got to them. Like that's the worst. It is. So who got fired for that publicity? Oh god. It was probably the asshole who's on the boat who survives at the end because yeah, he one, sneaks mm -hmm. on the boat. He's like, it's yeah. unsinkable. It's unsinkable. It's unsinkable. It's like, wow, man, that's. Let's go faster. How about just? Get hey, it early, it'll be great. Hey, this boat is safer than others. I would have, I would have been like, okay, right. okay, okay. There's a chance. There's a chance. But saying. when you say we'll unsinkable, like, can we make a movie about the uh, the Hindenburg? Be like, hey guys, <laughs> it's the unblow upable blip. There was one made. There probably was. No, no, no. The really, and then they show you at the end because there's a dog on board, and they specifically show that the dog survived. And I'm just like, yes. <laughs> oh, but I really <laughs> didn't want to make that movie where it's like, ah, oh, yes, the unblow upable blip. Ah, I hear that blip is unblow upable. Oh my god. Unblow upable. Yeah. And then there's and then there's like a big love story on the blip, and then they all blow up at the yeah. end. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they do do a love story, too. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> oh, my God. I wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> so, yeah, everyone's taken off. And this is another example of great special effects. Mm -hmm. They built, like, the whole side to the Titanic. Mm -hmm. And then with miniatures yeah. and CGI, which was new at the time before they started using it everywhere. everywhere. Now, again, I was watching on VHS. So, right. so it looked fine <laughs> to me. Uh, some of the CGI shots going around the ship, do they still hold up? I'd say so. Like uh, it's not, you can still see something's a little off, but I'm yeah. I'm okay with it. It's better than it's kind of like when we saw the mummy and like the CG city looked yeah. better than we mm -hmm. thought it would. Yeah. I just I don't know because on VHS it was also fucked up, and I'm like I guess it looks fine. <laughs> I feel I feel like this movie aged very well though, like yeah. even for today's, today's standards. Again, it's James Cameron, his yeah. effects, and they re-release yeah. it. I'm pretty sure he like messed with some things because yeah. mm -hmm. probably probably yeah. yeah. Uh, Billy Zane is also accompanied by one of my favorite actors, David Warner, the old British guy. Oh yeah, he uh. He was the voice of Ra's al Ghul in the Batman cartoon. Oh, really? <laughs> he has two separate roles in Star Trek movies. Mm -hmm. He's a great actor. He's a great actor. I love his voice. There you go. We get an appearance by Jeanette Goldstein, who is a James Cameron regular. She played Vasquez in Aliens. Mm -hmm. And now everyone's going to leave a comment being like, she wasn't actually Latina. It's like, yeah, we know. We know. We know. Yeah. You guys are smart. <laughs> um, and also, <laughs> she, so was the, uh, she was the stepmom in Terminator 2. Remember? Oh yeah. When 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 uh, the Terminator Stallone is all like, yeah. "What's your dog's name?" and he's like, "Max," and he's like, "Is Wolfie good?" and he's like, "Wolfie's just fine." And she's really the Terminator. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he like pops her up in like random movies, and I saw her for like a second. I, she comes back later. Mm. This time she's playing an Irish lady. Yep. That girl is everything. We mentioned in the Fear and Loathing because she gets yelled at for playing a Latina and aliens, but she's like. I am, I'm like Jewish, this, this, this. Like, mm -hmm. Find me a role that's one character of those eight things and I'll play it. But for now, I gotta like pick what I can get. <laughs> right. um, so this is the part of the movie I don't like. Mm -hmm. The part I call this the, I get it. I get it. So they're talking about uh, Rose's paintings that she yeah. has. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, those finger paintings. And I agree with Billy Zane. Uh, right. <laughs> He's all like, who did this one? They're like, something Picasso. And he's like, he'll never Picasso. amount to a thing. And I'm like, I get it. I get it. 
Mm. And also, I'm pretty sure I read a thing that those paintings weren't a thing in 1912. But yeah, like I had, I was telling you, I had the same problem. I tried to get into Mad Men, the show Mad Men. And like the first four episodes, it's just little things like that. And it's like, yeah, I know. I know. We get it. We get it. So that part kind of annoyed me. Well, there's a there's actually a couple of things in the movie where they're like talking about like, I don't know, Jack says, oh, I went on the Santa Monica Ferris wheel, but that didn't open until like 1916 yeah. or something. Uh, yeah. What was it? And then the, um, the ice fishing. Yeah. That one thought, place where that didn't open up until like, link. yeah. Yeah. It's weird. James Cameron was so wanted it to be so accurate. Then he leaves glaring yeah, issues. Glaring. Like okay. <laughs> um, I like Kathy Bates in this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's great. She's from. I mean, she's great in everything. But she's yeah. from New Money. She like, I guess her and her husband like struck oil or something. Yeah. Like, so they they just got rich. Yeah. So they're like they're blending in with high society, but they're bringing but their they're own like little yeah. charm with it. I really Kathy Bates is pretty great she's in this. The, the uh, the unsinkable Molly. Mm-hmm. Molly Brown. They call Molly her. Brown. Yep. Yeah. Because she like what she like did get like get them to go back or something. I think. She yeah she had them um send a lifeboat back when, yeah. once uh everybody was kind of yeah, yeah. like so she's pretty great in this and. uh we get a, what should we call it? A shot of dolphins. 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 But Rose didn't cry <laughs> into the ocean to get magic with moonlight. <laughs> so you didn't watch that one. The animated Titanic movie, that will be a bonus so video. Is it the one with the octopus? <laughs> no. It is the okay, one no, with the octopus. No, I've seen that. Okay, oh. there's three Titanic movies. <laughs> you have to specify, I forget what the third, the third <laughs> one, is it the one with Atlantis? The one with the octopus or the one with the rapping dog? We watched the one with the octopus. <laughs> Don't watch it. <laughs> well, watch our review. Well, watch our review. You, so you don't have to watch the movie. Exactly. That's what I And mean. in that movie, we found out that if you cry in the moonlight, dolphins can talk to you. So I yeah. wonder if those dolphins were trying to talk to Leo. That's probably why they were there. They're like, watch out for icebergs. Yeah. Watch out. <laughs> Leave Rose uh, alone. But Leo's not talking because he's talking about how he's the king of the world. You know, that was ad-libbed. Was it? Yeah, he wasn't. Like meant to say that, but he just jumped up and he was like, oh, okay, James I'm Cameron like. did that when he won the thing. Yeah, when he won the Oscar. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see his Oscar acceptance? I don't think I have. I'm the king of the world. <laughs> <laughs> it was really bad. I was like, it was really, it was really bad. It was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and no. poor Fabrizio's there, and he's like, I can see uh, the statue of a liberty. Yeah. It's very <laughs> small, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and he could have. He could have stopped the Great Depression. He could have stopped <laughs> it. He could have. He could have stopped World War II. He could have stopped it. He could have. Maybe. I imagine if he was there, he's like, "Hey guys, I know what this guy, a Mussolini. He up a no, no, no good. He up to no good." And then I don't Love know who's, who was president at the time. Roosevelt would be like, "Well, look into it, Fabrizio." <laughs> but <laughs> instead, Fabrizio. Jack murdered him. Jack did not murder him. <laughs> I'm not going to accept that. <laughs> So the uh, the PR guy, or the guy I guess who owns the boat, is the snobby British guy from the mm-hmm. Mummy and Anaconda. Mm-hmm. I've never seen Ismay. that guy. Yeah, Ismay. I've never seen him not play a snobby British guy in a really? movie. Yeah, he <laughs> the nineties. He was the go to snobby, snobby British, British guy. guy. <laughs> uh, what's he all doing? What's He's that, like, a, wait, what's the movie um, with Robin Williams? Jumanji. Was he the snobby? He, he was the, he was the, the hunter, hunter movie, oh, yeah. but he was okay, still like snobby yeah. and right. weird yeah. and yeah. yeah. Exactly. And that he's there sense. with uh, Victor Garber's character, who's Mr. Andrews. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's not the he like oversaw the development of the Titanic. Mm-hmm. He didn't right. specifically develop it, but design it. But he's there to monitor it and make mm-hmm. changes. <laughs> and he fucked up. <laughs> There's actually one good thing. Uh, Victor Garber, he was on that show Legends of Tomorrow, the time mm-hmm. traveling superhero show. And there was one episode they're like, we can go to the Titanic. He's like, I'll never step foot on that boat. Whoever designed oh. that was a madman. I'm like, that's a funny goddamn reference. <laughs> that's funny. That's cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, apparently Jack is an artist. He is an artist. Yes. And he paints interesting things. He, very, very interesting. But he's, yeah. uh, he's painting and then he sees Rose and he's like, I'm in love. And the Irish guy is like, oh, laddie, you're very stupid. You are. She's up there. Or something. That's a really good accent. Is it? Yeah, you do accents very well. 
He also is Irish. You know what? Don't say that because Kieran does a way better Irish accent than me. (laughs) His name is also Kieran. Yeah. So So, yeah, he's looking at him. But then um, he also spots Billy Zane. And Mm -hmm. I like to think that Leonardo DiCaprio's character, Jack, becomes overwhelmed with jealousy that he'll never look as handsome as Billy Zane. That's definitely not it. I can't stress how handsome Billy Zane is. Why are you so obsessed? Because I really liked the Phantom when I was a kid. And he's great in Twin Peaks. He took Audrey Horn's virginity in Twin Peaks. And then he got on a plane and fucked off. <laughs> he's a great man. Billy Zane's a great man. Terrible, Tony. He was also on Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> oh, my God. So there's like a there's like a meeting, hap- uh, dinner happening. And Rose is like, well, I'm out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in her head. That's actually what she says. She's like, I went to dinner that night. And I decided that I'm out. Uh, I just she- wanted to smoke a cigarette. <laughs> that she just runs to the end of the boat. A ship, I'm sorry. The ship. The ship. Yes. Uh, she runs to the end of the ship. Dad, and she's it's like, a ship. Yeah. Oh and she's like, oh man, I'm going to jump onto this real dodgy blue screen effect. This VHS didn't save this one. This blue screen on the end of the ship. Like, I'm like, ooh, that's a rough blue screen. Yeah, I didn't notice it. That one's really rough. It's not, uh, what do we do? Devil's Advocate with Keanu Reeves has one of the worst blue screen, 90s blue screen shots I've mm-hmm. ever seen. So this one's pretty rough. But uh, who's there to save her? Um, Jack. Why did you have to think about it? You literally no, because you I, brought two posters. Do you know why? Because I was thinking of the animated version. <laughs> <laughs> and I was going to say the dolphins. You know, they're I'm easy scarred. movies to get mixed oh, up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he saves her. And I just want to point out. Uh, hold on. He's such a stand up guy. How yeah. do you not like him? Or how do you like Billy Zane better? Because Billy I mean, Zane's just... awesome. Uh, but one thing that helps with the blue screen is that uh, Kate Winslet's rack looked pretty amazing in this scene. I was You not... didn't notice anything else. I I noticed for like a second, and I'm like, ooh, that's See, blue I screen. didn't. Because you were also looking at the rack. Oh, I my presume. God. Exactly. You're like, wow, Kate Winslet, she's got it going on. I used to actually have the doll of her in that dress. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it, but I had it at did one you, point. Did you hang it over nice. the end of boats? No, I had it in the case because I didn't want to take it out. Like, it was a collectible. (laughs) But yeah, she wants to kill herself and Jack's all like, no, don't do it. No, no, he's like, it'll be cold. You don't want to do that. He's like, if you jump, I jump. Well, he's foreshadowing his own death. He is. He is. A lot of foreshadowing in Mm -hmm. this. Yeah, he takes his shoes and jacket off and he's like, I'm going to go in with you. And then she's like, all right. I have uh, so much to live for. But then she falls because she's an idiot. She slips mm. on her dress. Yeah, she slips on her dress. <laughs> and then he saves her. And then everyone comes and beats him up. Well, he's like <laughs> standing over her and she's just like half yeah. dressed, like her skirt's up. She's like looks, petrified. She was yeah. shaking. And Billy Zane being the hero he is. <laughs> just oh, like, get no. off my woman. <laughs> and then uh, second person from The Mummy, Winston, the pilot from The Mummy, is one of the old British guys that's mm-hmm. in the scene. Um, no, he's like, no, no, I saved her. I saved her from jumping. She was trying to look at the propellers. And then they're just like, huh, women. They're always looking at propellers. <laughs> they say something like that. <laughs> like I said, women and machinery do not mix. Because the movie like, has okay. to remind you that men are very misogynist. Right, of course. Which I disagree with. This is 1912. With. Yes, misogyny is bad. Women should be equal. You know, I, that's my that's my belief. Um, why did you give me a dirty look when I said that? No reason, Tony. <laughs> yeah, drink your did, co- I, did I mention Science. I'm uh, friends with uh, author Dick Masterson? You know the book he wrote? It's called Men Are Better Than Women. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, so David Warner, basically, he's like on to Jack. He's like, oh, that's weird. She went to fall and then he grabbed her, but you had time to take off your shoes and your jacket. Yeah. It's like, like, that's a little sketch. That is a little weird. Mm. That like why like why did you do that? What what are you talking about? That like he's just like you're an idiot, Jack, mm-hmm. and I'm on to you because I'm very smart and evil. Yeah. He used to be a cop. He used to be a cop, yes. And, and then, then he just stalks him the whole time. Billy Zane realizes that Rose is sad, and he gives her the heart of the ocean. Jack didn't give her the heart. You are holding the representation of Billy Zane's hold over Kate Winslet or Rose. <laughs> Yes and no, though. This is the heart of the ocean, but Rose's heart is with Jack, who is in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch, did you sneak in my notes? I wrote something like that at the end. <laughs> yeah. Well, the point is, uh, Billy Zane coughed up the money for that piece of shit that she could wear. And he's like, ah, oh, you're going to wear this at our engagement ball? Mm-hmm. Is that you just got engaged? Not you're welcome, by the Thank way. You. I- 
Trisha. I, Trisha, you've known me for years. All I do is just enrich people's lives. Are you kidding? Yes. I. She, <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> I. Johanna met her boyfriend because of me, because I got her her job here, and she's still not thanked me for her current engagement. Why should she thank you? Why do you not defend me? Anyway, <laughs> the point is, Joanna, you just got engaged. I haven't gotten an invite to your engagement ball. Yeah, if anything, I'm going to have a housewarming party because I just moved to <laughs> and have like an engagement party and housewarming so I can get a bunch of free shit. Okay, you so go. you are having an engagement ball. And all of Philadelphia. Yeah, it's going to be a ball and all, all of Philly's going to be there. All of Philadelphia's high society. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing I've heard. I'm like, engagement ball? What the fuck is yeah. that? Rich Call people. Rich. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> uh, oh, and then um, Jack was invited to dinner the next day. Mm -hmm. And Rose is hanging out with uh, Jack on the deck. And uh, he's given her his life story. Yeah. So that means... Fucking Rose. That means Bill Paxton's sitting in the room right now with everyone. And he's like, okay, she just mentioned the diamond. So she's going to tell me right. where it is any minute Wait. now when she's done yeah, she giving. She slowly me sneaks it in every yeah. now and then, by yeah, the way, yeah, yeah. just, just like, to keep him entertained. She's going to tell me when she's done giving me her life story. And then she's like, here's Jack's life story. And I imagine Bill Paxton's like, God. <laughs> he's just like <laughs> biting down, like just telling her the fucking diamond is. And he's like, I'm from Wisconsin. I think he's from Wisconsin, mm -hmm. right? Milwaukee. And he's like, yeah, and then I travel all over the place because I am a hobo and not financially stable. And you should probably marry Billy Zane instead. He says something like that. Um, <sighs> it's not what he says. <laughs> this is where he's like calling her out like, hey, do you actually love this guy? And she's like, he's my fiance. Right, like, she doesn't actually say it. Yeah, she doesn't Never. say it. Because mm. she doesn't. She's only marrying him for money. Yes, we yeah, learned that a little bit yeah. later. Yes. Uh, but yeah, they get into a fight over it. She's like, you're very rude. Go away. And then she's like, what are you drawing in here? Yeah. <laughs> Just snatches his notebook. She opens it up. She's like, oh, tits. <laughs> <laughs> so Jack's a pervert. Uh, he apparently just goes around drawing naked. And he's, he's an alive. artist. That does not make him a pervert. He's also a liar. How? Because she's like, oh, you, wow, you draw this naked French lady a lot. And she's like, oh, no, she was one like a prostitute. I definitely didn't do anything with her. I just drew her. I definitely, definitely didn't do anything. It's like, he didn't. On, I believe him. I believe him. They were probably just friends. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't know many friends that would let me just draw, like, draw me naked. Okay. No one wants to do you, that, Tony. Neither of you have hit me up <laughs> saying, hey, Tony, I need to do a charcoal paint. <laughs> nah. Wait, didn't Nikki... Yeah, He's Nikki, there, there is a picture of me. Nikki took a picture of me sleeping naked in bed. And, like, <laughs> and there's a charcoal. I gotta find that. <laughs> I woke up the next day. She's like, I drew this. I'm like, why? I'm glad, so <laughs> I'm glad someone loves you. <laughs> draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> <laughs> there's another movie. I gotta mention the movie that makes fun of that. Um... So yeah, he's like, yeah, I, I loved her hands. So I drew her hands a lot. All right, dude. There's like one yeah. shot of like, it's like, the very bottom of like where her belly button is and then like her hands are right there where it's like where her crotch is. And I'm just kind of like, oh, uh, dude. <laughs> and then what did she say? Oh, Jack, this is exquisite work. And I'm like, <laughs> excuse me? What? <laughs> and then uh, the, the what's his name? Ismay is telling the captain. He's like, hey, man, we need to go faster. Captain Smith. Yeah. He's like bigger, faster right now. Let's go. And the captain's like, I don't know about that. I think yeah. we're doing fine. Right. We're doing pretty good. He's, yeah, like, he's nope. like, but the headlines, if we get there a day early. I think when I was looking at the deleted scenes, I think there's a scene where he's overhearing people talk. And they're like, I bet um, you we'll get in there in New York at whatever time. He's like, ha, ha, ha. And he's like, yes, the headlines. And the captain is like, oh, man, I'm really bad at captaining a ship. I'm also bad at leading Rohan into battle. It's the king of Rohan from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> right, it's also his last voyage, too, because after that, he was supposed to retire. Mm. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, I guess he did. Yeah. I guess he kind of retired. <laughs> oh, that's look, terrible. Look, I know these were real people, but once someone made a rapping dog an octopus, we get free reign to do yeah, whatever. Enough I, time has passed where you can make fun of these people. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, on uh, top of the ship, Jack is teaching her to be a poor person. Which I guess means you spit everywhere. I guess is that what that entails? You I don't just know. Have to spit. Third class? Do you spit a lot? <laughs> no. Are you a spitter? Third class? <laughs> no, I'm a swallower. 
I didn't expect you to go along with the joke. I expected you to get mad at me. But there you go. Uh, Jack's like, you know what's funny? Rose spits. And then they come, the, the rich people come, and then Jack swallows. Oh, God. <laughs> Ew, and then he had the drool yeah. in his sock. This is, your, this is your favorite movie, right? <laughs> it is. Fine, I can forgive him for that. So I like, uh, yeah, Speaky we got to go to dinner tonight, and Kathy Bates is like, Jack, you look like shit. <laughs> come to my room. I have my son's tuxedo for right. some reason. For some reason. I don't know. Her son wasn't with her, right? That's what makes it weirder. Yeah. Maybe she bought a tuxedo for him. Maybe. Bringing it back. Bringing it back. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But she's like, ah, yeah, Jack, wear this. You'll look nice. Uh, and it's it's so clear. Oh, he looked so handsome, though. He, Yeah, he looks fine. But it's so clear he's trying to cuck Billy Zane, and Billy Zane's just oblivious to yeah. it. <sighs> to be fair, if I had the confidence of Billy Zane, I would probably be oblivious, too. But he's like, Jack's not being subtle about it. He, like, kisses her hand. He's, like, walking around with her while Billy yeah. Zane's walking around with Rose's mom. Mm -hmm. That's a little weird. Yeah. I don't know. Something's Why going on there. Why didn't he just there? try to marry the mom? He should have, right? That would have worked just, out better. Because she's older, uh, probably. Yeah. Also, her, her, his, the, the mom is running a con on him. Like, right. it's, everyone involved in this is just awful. Awful people. If Rose really wanted to get out of the situation, she'd be like, hey, uh, Cal was his name. Mm -hmm. She's like, we don't actually have money. My mom's lying to you. And that would have so saved her. I think they know. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure, because there's nothing that says anything about her having money or whatever. It's just, you know, obviously later on when the mom's mm -hmm. talking to her or whatever. But oh. I think it's just he just wants to be with her because he's like, oh, well, oh, I just, she's attractive, arm candy. Like, right. I thought yeah. he just assumed they had money. No, I don't think, it, I I think it's all about him. I don't know. I thought they were going to sandbag him with their dad, <laughs> which is pretty <laughs> funny. Anyway, so yeah, Jack's all around. He's like, uh, I'm going to try and bang Rose later. Uh, they go to dinner, and yeah. he's just regaling them with stories of being a hobo. And they're like, ha, ha, ha. Well, his, her mom was so mean to him the entire time. While like, yeah. Kathy Bates is there. She's no like, one, enjoying yeah, that, company. It was funny. No one else is bad at it. I could see if you're they right. were all being snobby, but they're like, where are you from, Jack? Oh, you're poor? What's that like? Oh, cool. <laughs> like, that's it. Like, right. Winston from The Mummy, like, seems to enjoy him. They mm -hmm. all seem to enjoy him. And then, like, they do that toast. Mm -hmm. And I think Rose's mom is the only one who doesn't toast. Yeah. Yep, she's not having it. Yeah, it's what to making it count. I think yeah. Cal like kind of like pauses for a second and then drinks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. thinks about it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, then they um the men go to leave to uh, for their cigars and whiskey. Yes, which which we have here at the uh, the video store. Me and Newt, whenever we're done filming, we leave Johanna behind and mm -hmm. we go enjoy our cigars. And yeah, whiskey. me and Crystal <laughs> sneak in there all the time. By the way, <laughs> you are not to allowed. Check it out. Yeah, well, you have to go downstairs with a third class. Of all, all that whiskey, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we have Irish parties in the basement. So. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. So apparently, according to James Cameron, poor uh, rich people are awful, and they party boringly. Yeah, so boring. <laughs> Who is wants that to be word? rich anyway? <laughs> but but when you're poor, you can party like crazy. Yeah. But you're still poor and you're probably going <laughs> to die on Titanic. Still makes me sad they never show off the second class citizens, like, mm -hmm. ever. Like, yeah, they're where are those guys right. at? Just blow them off. I'm like, there's also, like, a huge swimming pool and stuff like that. You don't really get to see much of the ship. Yeah. They cut out the gym. There's yeah. a deleted scene. I know. There's a deleted yeah. scene. That's yeah. actually a good deleted scene. It's a good character moment mm -hmm. for Rose, who was a terrible character. Um, but they're, like, going around the gym and as she's leaving, she just punches the punching bag. <laughs> She hits a lot of people. She in this. does. She's, She's very, very mean. She hits very people who don't deserve it too. Yeah. That's what's really mean. <laughs> well, um, so he's like, "Yeah, Rose, let's go down and dance," and then they dance for like a really long it's time. The best scene. It's so awesome. They're just having the time of their lives. Like no worries, no cares. She chugs a beer. Yeah. yeah. This is also one of the scenes with the little girl that uh likes Cora. Jack. Mm -hmm. yeah. They cut out her intro. Which is also where Fabrizio finds love with Helga. So Fabrizio <laughs> and Helga could have been a thing. They could have yeah. had a big family. They could have stopped mm -hmm. World War II. He could but, have had a, his own movie by now. He could have had his own movie. Yeah. But uh, he dies. So yeah, they set up the little girl. But then she's only in like a few shots. And then they cut out her death scene. She yeah. like dies. Oh. It's pretty, pretty brutal. You don't see it. But it's right. like they, they make sure. They make they, sure there was going to be a moment where they're like, hey, remember that little girl? Here's her dr drowning in a stairwell. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's sad. Um, but yeah, so they're dancing. Yeah, like they, there's the gate that blocks them off, right? Yeah, yeah okay. they locked them all in. And then, I remember like, that now. They do the spinning around thing, which has been memed into oblivion. My yeah. favorite yeah. is uh, my favorite. It's Kate Winslet, but then it cuts to Arnold and Conan the Barbarian too, with a monster spinning him around. So it looks like Kate is spinning spinning Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> oh, around. 
<laughs> you would like that. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, she tries to impress them by standing on her toes. Tippy toes. Because she was a ballerina. Yep. Yeah. I used to try to do that all the time when I was eight. I was like, I want to be just like See? girls. <laughs> You want to get beaten up by Billy Zane? <laughs> no, I want to stand on my tippy toes. You want to see the man of your dreams freeze to death in front of you? Just the tippy toes oh part God. is all you want. <laughs> That's all I wanted. You don't, don't have to me. be Rose to do that. I think like you just <laughs> trained to be a ballerina and you should be able to do it. <laughs> I should have been a ballerina. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Missed opportunities. David Warner's character is spying on them. Yep. He's just like, where's Rose? And he's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> he just looks down. And he's like, ha, poor people. There's Rose. Uh, it's he, like right after they got done dancing too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know, he's a cop because he fucking narks on her. <laughs> and the next day, Billy Zane's like, oh, did you enjoy yourself on the lower decks? And yes, she, I did. And just then a she's like, quiet I, tea time. Yeah. He wants to ruin it. Yeah. No, she ruined it. Uh, but she's like, I'm your fiance. He's like, oh yeah. And he like throws I the know. table. Yeah. How healthy. What a great guy. Why would you want to be in that movie? He's relationship? asserting his dominance. No. Uh, his name is Kyle. The only thing he hasn't done in that movie is punch a wall. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's like, hey, you're embarrassing me. Stop doing all this poor people stuff and leave that jack guy alone. Uh, and I think her mom like shows up to give her some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she's like, uh, what was it? The maid was undoing her corset. Right, and right. And then the mom comes and in and just like, where right, she, well, I'm going to undo it. This is where she reveals. She's just like, uh, we're broke. We, we need Cal. No Your father really screwed us. Uh, maybe that's why she has just a horrible interest in men. She's just interested in terrible <laughs> men. <laughs> Terrible man and just yeah. money. And then this is the only time they try to sympath they try to make the mom sympathetic. She's like they we're, try. She's like, uh, We're women, we can't do anything. But I felt like her crying too when she turns away was like a fake thing to like kind of just like gaslight Rose. Because mm-hmm. she does go right back to being yeah. awful. Yeah, for sure. And she just she doesn't she's like, seems like crocodile tears like, oh, oh Yeah. She seems <laughs> sad about Rose later, but like no, like she doesn't she care also about. She becomes anyone. horrified of the situation too, because yeah. I think she was just dumb, thinking like, "Oh, it'll be fine." Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And then an hour and seventeen minutes into the film, we finally get foreshadowing that there's icebergs ahead. Excuse me, sir. Another ice warning. This one's from the northern. Thank you, Sparks. Oh, not to worry. They cut out a scene. There's actually a really good scene where you find out the guy doing Morse code is just an idiot. <laughs> So they were sending a lot of like messages for the passengers. So they wanted to get those out of the way. And they were like, oh, well, the ship's unsinkable. So we're not going to worry about the ice warnings and stuff. Really? Whatever. So like, let's just shut this yeah. off. That's like a real thing. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. They're idiots. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of fucking idiots. Man, people in the past were stupid. They were dumb. <laughs> How did we get this far? Like, I feel bad for like some of the people on the boat, but the people running the boat, it's like, no, you guys, you, knew, you like, were really yeah. tempting fate. <laughs> it was their fault. It was not Jack. Jack did not sink the ship or make Fabrizio die. No, he did. He No, they do make <laughs> the ship sink. Anyway. Oh, so the deleted scene. <clears throat> he's like, oh, this message, this message. And he's like, oh, what the hell? What is? What are these people saying on this boat? They're idiots. And then he sends it back, like, stop messaging us. Yeah. But then it cuts to the people reading the sign. And, like, the guy who's Titanic's message to them is all, like, screwed up. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, man, why aren't they ignoring us? Then they go out and they're like, look at all these icebergs. Oh my God. We're trying to warn about these icebergs. But they cut that scene out. Uh, but there, are, there is a mention of the icebergs. Yeah. And I think they said, um, oh, yeah, they that's when they talk about the lifeboats. They're like, yeah, we had more, but they cluttered up the deck too much, right. so we got rid of them. And Victor Garber's like smiling about this, I'm like you asshole. It's unsinkable. We don't <laughs> need them. Fine. And then what was it? Cal makes like a mention too, like, oh, it's like more waste of deck space because it's the unsinkable ship. And I'm like, yeah. shut the hell up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Rose looks at a little girl being trained to be proper and she's reflecting. And she's on like her. really sad. Yeah, yeah. She's like, oh man, Thinking I had to do that. Childhood. And this. This is like an endless cycle. I can only do what people expect of me. And it's like, it's very, very yeah. sad. But also Rose sucks. So No, um, she doesn't. <laughs> She's thinking about her future with Jack. Yeah. And She's then uh, I think she she meets with Jack. She, earlier she said she said to Jack that they couldn't hang out anymore. Yeah. And then uh, what was it? Because he, he pulls her aside after mass or something like oh, that? Oh, yeah. After they, they're looking at the lifeboats, he yeah. pulls her aside because he sneaks up on them. Yeah. Because there was like a mass thing earlier where Jack like just 
waltzes down like he owns the place. Yeah. And then he tries to like go in to see or whatever. And then a uh, friggin' narc cop yeah. comes out to be like, yeah, mm-hmm. here's some money. Like, F off. Mm-hmm. Also, Jack steals a guy's jacket. That's on the uh, deck when they're talking about the lifeboats. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then she's like, all right. Uh, he gives her a letter or something. Something to meet at the front of the ship. Yeah. And listen, Jack, there's got to be easier girls to get on this boat. Like, there's got to no, 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 be. That was, that was, um, uh, at the dinner that he gives her the note. At the dinner he gives her the Cause note. Because he kisses her hand goodbye and he slips it in. I thought he gave it that the note Mm-mm. was for the downstairs. No, it was, uh, what was it? Make a count, meet me at the clock. Yeah. That it says. Oh, no, then they go to the party. Yeah. But, but this, this oh, I guess no this note. was no note. Yeah, there was no I think note. they just go to the front of the Yeah, she just goes because she knows he'll be there because apparently that's yeah. the spot. Even though they weren't allowed in that area. Only like crew members were. Yeah, so. yeah they weren't. Um, but yeah, Jack, like, there's got to be easier girls to get, right? Right? No, maybe, but he was in love with Rose. True love. So, exactly. Yeah, but like, you know, just stay in your lane, dude. Oh like, my God. There's got to be, there's got to be easier girls to get this. Anyway, she was like, You're only this. on this boat for like a couple <laughs> days. Like, why are you trying to find true love on a goddamn boat? Honestly, can we talk about that though? The fact that they just fall in love so quickly. It's been like two days. Yeah. Like yeah. two days. And they're. I've never like, fallen in love with anyone in two days. <laughs> yeah, and a, their whole total meeting time was like, what, four days? Yeah. So. Yeah. Total four days. I'll never. Never, like, it took me close to a year to say I love you to Nikki. I was like, I don't know. I'm not sure. We're living together, but not really sure. I'm not sure about this. That's, that's not right. <laughs> and though. then these assholes are on the boat. They're like two days later. They're like, we're in law. <laughs> anyway, she says, F this. I'm going to go hook up with Jack. Yeah. He meets him they, in the front of the boat. And oh, they oh, smooch. There it is. There it is. Oh, they there smooch. Is. I think it's on one of the other tapes, too. She also right. does the, I'm flying. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. flying. I'm flying. And it's like, you're not flying. You're standing on a boat, <laughs> idiot. Uh, it feels like you're flying. You know. You're and uh, I think the green, how did the green screen look here? Did it look fine? It's fine to me. Okay. Yeah. I couldn't tell if it was like. I like when it morphs not. into like the um, the wreckage of the. Oh, yeah. Because they like it, it cuts yeah. back to them, right? But yeah, she's all, this is like when they have their first kiss, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very romantic. Very romantic. Very boring. Uh, <laughs> not boring. See, uh, this is why I can't do this review with you because you're just going to like bag on Titanic this whole time, and just this is like PTSD of third grade. Like this is what you I never got it. over it. I never got what over it. What did you do with that poster? I don't know. Yeah, I probably still have it. Oh I have to find God. it. I, I swear to God, I probably do. You st- you gotta find that if you still have that. Holy it's shit! It's just like boxes and boxes from like elementary school. Amazing. Yeah, you probably got weird shit like a Godzilla '98 banner. Maybe. I got her brother's Godzilla 98 banner. I'm putting it in the cabinet. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they cut back to the future, and uh, the fat guy is just Lewis. making fun of the captain. Yeah. He's like, oh, man, the captain? What a moron. <laughs> and then he drops an F-bomb. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, PG-13, you PG-13, get one F-bomb. Yeah, because yeah, he was saying something about, like, uh, he has the warning in his fucking hand. And he's yeah. like, excuse me, his hand. <laughs> <laughs> and then we and then we cut back. We cut back, and... Uh, we get the famous line, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls wearing this, wearing only this. Only this. And it reminds me of the movie The Ten. You remember The Ten? <sighs> have you ever seen The Ten? No. It's a comedy movie, but it's like ten stories built around the Ten Commandments. Okay. And uh, the first story, Adam Brody's about to skydive. Adam Brody. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow. He's about to skydive, and he's like on the side of the plane like this. He's like, this reminds me of that scene from Titanic. And he goes like this, and he goes, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls wearing this. <laughs> Right, and then he jumps out without his parachute. Oh, no. <laughs> but like, you're, you're see ready it. for, like, I'm the king of the world or yeah. something. Like, no, draw no. me like a girl. Perfect. Iconic. Uh, and yeah, like, okay, so Rose loves Jack. She's she's really tempting fate with it. She's going to get this dude murdered. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, when she comes out in the little room and she's, like, waving the tassel. Yeah. Like, hey. <laughs> Seducing him. So this scene, and we can't show it, unfortunately. So I had, like I said, I had to watch this on VHS because it's not streaming free anywhere. And I refuse to pay for a movie no, I own it's five copies of. on Stars, I think. I don't have Stars. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, get good. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I borrowed not my copy. I borrowed one of the copies I got from the thrift store. And I put it in. And it gets to that scene. Oh, no. And that scene is super discolored. <laughs> as if someone oh, no. 
As if someone was watching and rewinding and watching oh, and rewinding. Oh, that's not cool. Oh, just that gross. scene over and over and over again. Now you I want to literally see boobs like anywhere. anywhere. Now I want to. Well, I want to get into that. Uh, I now I want to check out the other ones to see if they're all worn out. Oh at my that god! Scene. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. You should check. That's yeah, disgusting. So, uh, <laughs> I think for a lot of kids our age. With more stricter parents, not not me, of course. I was cool. Of course. I feel like for a lot of kids, like in our class and stuff, this was like the first pair of boobs they saw, probably yeah. in theaters. Yeah, at all. I think it for me it was. I don't know. For Meanwhile, my, my grandfather took me to fucking Starship Troopers, where's the where there's that unisex shower scene. There's like oh a million God. boobs, and I'm like, oh okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, cause I remember like kids talking about this all the time, as if they like hit go. They're like, do you see your boobs in it? Yeah. I'm like, okay. What else? So they, they, they couldn't come. I'm like, yeah, there's a lot of movies of boobs. And they had like <laughs> no idea. I'm like, yeah, you got to watch horror movies. Like, they're yeah. too scary. I'm like, yeah, and there's a lot of boobs. <laughs> right. I remember seeing it in theaters with my mom, my sister, and my grandma. And the scene happened. And then like my grandma and my mom are like trying to cover our eyes. And it's just like, we're going to have boobs right. later. Like, what? <laughs> exactly. why? Yes, yes. Much exactly. later. La like, later right. than planned, but much later. Yeah. Uh, it was the first time I saw like, a high school. Oh, no. <laughs> first time I ever saw nudity. You got in a boobs film, faster I think. than I did. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what? <laughs> it was the first time I ever saw nudity in a film. Really? Yeah. And then they were like having sex. And I'm what like, kind of know. sheltered household did you have? What kind of movies were you allowed to watch? <laughs> I wasn't watching the kind of movies you were. This was PG 13. In fact, I thought it was R. But I'm shocked it to know. It should it's be R because the nudity, if we yeah. go by their rules, but they broke their own rules for this. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean. I mean, they were nice, but like I've seen them. Like I was watching like You're Jason like, movies yeah, and fine. stuff. Like there's, there's better. But I just remember like all the guys I knew were like, "Yeah, that movie sucked, yeah. but you got to see that girl's boobs." Like, all right. See, dudes. my parents didn't want me to go to see this movie because of that. And then after that movie, after we saw that, they were like, eh, it's fine. You can watch whatever you want. <laughs> so, <laughs> you got your pair of boobs. You're good. Exactly. Yeah, my, my mom, like, didn't care. Like, we, it's been well documented. We even called her the one day. Like, my mom just didn't give a shit. With as long as it wasn't, like, bordering on softcore porn. We were allowed mm -hmm. to watch whatever the fuck we wanted. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yes, yeah, so that was the boob scene. Um, so, sorry, sorry we couldn't show any of it. <laughs> Are we allowed to show the drawing? Will YouTube let us show the Maybe. drawing? I don't know. We have to censor that famous... See if you could just censor, like, take out the nipples. That's yeah. what you need to do. I'll I'm not even kidding. You know what? In. I'll have it recreate it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> get get Nikki to do it. Get Nikki to no, do just it. put the picture of you. <laughs> <laughs> every time. Every time. I'm going to superimpose that picture into do every it. shot. Do it. Please do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay. And I love this part. She uh, She's talking to the, the room, Rose, and she goes, It was the most erotic moment of my life. Up until then, at least. Because at any point, now I'm looking at her granddaughter, and at any point, she's going to be like, any minute now, she's going to get to how she met her true love, Grandpa. Right. Like, she's just like waiting. She's like, any minute now, she'll no, get to seriously, it. Seriously, can get you imagine like being her grandkids and just listening to her tell this erotic story? And they're just Well, like, there's only well, one grandkid there. So I'm sure she's well, going to go to the rest. And she's like, yeah, she said she loved Grandpa a lot. <laughs> Something about a guy named Jack, I don't know. But she loved Grandpa. <laughs> And then it turns out we've been rich this whole time and she threw away our inheritance. Oh God, she was yeah. kind of awful. <laughs> At the end, everyone just hates Rose. <laughs> yeah. So the captain and uh, one of the guys with him points out that the water is like really calm. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, it's really calm. And it's like, going to be harder to see the icebergs because yeah. you need like the waves crashing to see them in the dark. And the captain's like, sure, it'll be fine. Why doesn't he just slow the goddamn boat down? Like, just, just lie to it. By the way, right. I'm pretty sure Ismay won't know the difference. You'd be like, yeah, yeah, we're, it's def we're definitely at full speed. Definitely. Like, he's not going to go down the fucking engine room and right. check. Right, he's yeah. going to check, yeah. Like, like all oh, the people yeah. in the boiler room, like, how dare you? Right. <laughs> just just make something up. Be like, oh, yeah, the current's uh, facing us the other way, and that's why it seems like we're going slower. But we're definitely going full speed, mm -hmm. and the guy would be like, okay. Right. I'm British, and then, like, walk away. Like, wow, <laughs> that guy says he's British all the time. <laughs> um... So Jack and Rose have no respect for other people's property. Uh, and I think they're being chased by David Warner, right? Yeah. yeah. Lovejoy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and then they go into someone's car and they just decide to fucking desecrate that car <laughs> with awkward. Uh, you also skip the part where they get into the elevator and Lovejoy's uh, right. like, God damn it. I can't get in. You're and already going like, down. Ah. She's like, yeah, take yeah. this middle finger. And then they all just crack <laughs> up. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it's like, she knows she's getting, like, murdered <laughs> later <laughs> on. <laughs> Uh, I think they also cut out. I think they like make out in the engine room for a really long time. Yes, they do. They cut, they cut that out. That, and like that kiss, though, when I first saw that, I was like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I don't think I've Did you that. not see it? Like they're like biting each other's lips and everything. Like it was <laughs> yeah. like, it was. <laughs> was that too much for James Cameron? He's like, I yeah, think so. He was probably like, oh, I might get rated R after this. <laughs> <laughs> this is for my like, people want to collection. talk about that boobs, that freaking steamy yeah. room kiss or whatever. So oh my they, God. Like, and then they just like screw in an old car. Yeah, like, you romantic. don't know whose car that is. That's really mean. Okay, I bet you, they, and they didn't clean up because we see it's still steamy. I still want to know <laughs> what position she was in to do that handprint. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was going on there? <laughs> I, <laughs> well, it's like, look, it's 1912. I mean, she's a virgin. Jack says, but mm, he wasn't. Although, you know I don't what? Think actually, she was a virgin because there was one time, what was it? The one scene after the dancing stuff or whatever, when they're in the um, third class stuff. Uh, Cal says something to her like, yeah, during the um, the tea uh, mm. morning thing or whatever, saying like, oh, I was hoping you'd come to me last night. Like right. it was like a normal no, thing. No, and yeah. she was like, oh, I was tired. Oh. So I think they were already fricking. Oh. <laughs> so. Which means they're going to hell because they had sex outside of wedlock. Yeah. So. Import, she's dragging Billy Zane to hell. That's how he becomes the demon. She's in demon all, night. Uh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> So yeah, and then it comes back to Jack, and he's like shaking like a coward. Yeah, he's trembling. She's like, you're trembling, and it's just like, look, Jack. Dude, he probably just had the best nut of his life. <laughs> actually, technically, at that point, that, it was actually, the last. That's, yeah. that's actually, it's uh, containing oh. one of the best nuts of, of Jack's life. Um, yeah, so he's there, he's like all shivering, and like, just some advice, Jack. When you get to the end zone, act like you've been there before. <laughs> <laughs> That's what made it so romantic, though, right? No, like, he oh, should have been me. like, yeah, just, just, it was average for me. I'm sure it was cool for you, but it was average for me. He had to, he, Jack's an idiot. Uh, yeah, she is technically the one acting like it was like whatever, because right. then she yeah. just like lays his head down like, oh, yeah, it's, okay. Like, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then they, then they go up on the deck and they decide to fool around a little bit more and they distract the people watching out for icebergs. Mm hmm. So they kill everyone on the boat. It's not their fault. Had they not they been... They did not distract anyone. No, no. They should have been doing their job. Yes. Wow. I was going to say that. <laughs> wow. Why do they care what these two teenagers are doing? Well, because they care about... The yeah, they're grown men watching teenagers. Right, it's because weird. they care about the sanctity of marriage, and they're like, that <laughs> they're woman is engaged. <laughs> they're like, that woman is engaged to Billy Zane. How could she? <laughs> yeah, because they know. Right. Oh, shit, iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So, yeah, we see the iceberg. It's gigantic. And you said, like you said, if they hit the front... Yeah, apparently they just would have, like, because they were already slowing down and, like, shutting the engines off but it wasn't like gonna it slow it down enough. Yeah. Yeah. But if they hit it head on, it would just crumple the front and it would have been fine. And then like once the other boats came, they could have just evacuated that everybody. That would have been embarrassing then... to pull into New York. Like, oh, Titanic <laughs> thought it looked cool. <laughs> <laughs> looks that's like, pretty Looks like a car in uh, freaking New York. Do you think that, yeah. up in the front. Do you think that's what they were afraid of? Did, did they know that it would survive head on? And they're like, oh, but then the ship will look ugly. Do you think they were like I don't that? think so. I think they were just like, oh, we could totally like bypass this. It'll be fine. And yeah. even if we do, it's like a tiny scratch. Yeah. It wasn't a tiny scratch. No, it, it, it uh, apparently could have survived with four uh, things yeah, open. Open, yeah. but then they it hit five. Right. Yeah, the, five filled the water up. tight doors. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, the, the tank doors. <laughs> you see all the poor guys under the ship just dying They're as just, the doors oh. are closing? Like, that's, that's brutal. Uh, they cut out one scene. That, they were smart to cut out this scene because it was like a sight gag and you don't really want to put a sight gag in your dramatic moment. But uh, yeah. when the iceberg is coming, mm -hmm. uh, it cuts to Kathy Bates getting water. She's like, can I have some ice? And as she's saying it, the iceberg oh, I passes. Oh, I that, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I'm like, what is this, the naked gun? Is this airplane? Like, that would be, like, that's a joke thing. <laughs> yeah. No. That was pretty funny. And then poor Fabrizio. His room is flooding. His room floods. He says, oh, I know, there is a too much of water. Is that how, how would you I say you have it? to go up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Trisha does an Italian channel. We forgot to mention that. It's an Italian TikTok. And that she... That is how you say it. You say, I have to go up the stairs. You That's have to you, get the, the hand movement. You have to do this movement. the whole time. Yeah, if, you're, if you want to speak Italian, this is all you need to know, really. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Victor Garber, I think, shows up and he's like, uh, "We oh no, before that. Jack and Rose, they go to Billy Zane. 
Mm-hmm. And they're like, yeah, because I see everybody's playing with the ice, but then because uh, there's ice that fell onto the deck, yeah. and then uh, what was it? The captain? No, it, yeah. who did walk by? It was um, the the Mr. Andrews. Mr. Andrews yeah. was one of them, but there was other people, whatever. But they were talking about it, and it was clearly like an yeah, issue. So they're like, we have to go tell my mom yeah. and the guy that yeah. I want to break Jack up was like, yeah. oh, this is bad. Right. And yeah. Why are we going Rose, to for some reason, we should tell Mother and Cal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then David Warner slips the heart of the ocean in his jacket pocket. How do you not feel that? Yeah. I was thinking. That's the thinking. only thing that has ever bothered me with this movie. I was like, how do you not feel that well, giant we heavy thing? Yeah. I'll put on a jacket <laughs> and I'll walk around and just throw it in my pocket and see if I notice. Um, it's heavy, even the fake one. I mean, really? this is real. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you you jumped in the ocean. You got it. You dove down. I don't know how you survived. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so they they arrest Leonardo DiCaprio. They're like, "You're up to no good. We're gonna arrest you." You stole that, and also this jacket. And he's mm-hmm. like, "I didn't steal the diamond. I did steal the jacket, but I didn't steal the diamond." I was gonna return it. <laughs> I've been in that situation where like I've had to defend myself, but then I had to admit to like the one thing. Like, right. I didn't do that. I did do that, but I didn't do that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, then the captain is talking to the Mr. Andrews and he's like, yeah, we're fucked. And then British guy's like, I'm British. We can't sink. And he's like, hey, dude, we're going down. And that's where the tape cuts off. And tape two tape ends. Two. Well, I believe you may get your headlines, Mr. Ismay. No, tape one ends. Tape one ends. Tape, tape, one. Two, tape two starts with Billy Zane just yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I always specific. I always remember that because I was like, oh, I never want to watch tape two because that's when it gets super sad. Like, yeah. I want to rewatch part one again. <laughs> tape two is when all like the fun stuff happens. Death. Not yeah, tape fun. one was boring. You. T- t- I wanted to see the ship sink. That's the only reason. What's wrong with you? I don't know. Why do people watch Poseidon Adventure and Twister and other disaster movies? We want to see all for the romance. No, I don't go to James Cameron movies for romance. <laughs> well, this one you have to. How do you feel about the romance in Avatar? <laughs> it's very romantic. Can you remember anything no. in Avatar? It's so funny. <laughs> they have sex with their hair. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. No one remembers okay. anything from Avatar. <laughs> no. I kind of want to do a review where we just try to. Was that Michelle what Rodriguez happened. in that? Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stop me if you heard this one before. She plays an angry girl wearing a white tank top. Like most of her. <laughs> well, I don't movie. know about the white tank top, but yes, angry girl, angry yes. Girl. <laughs> uh, I love how um, no one is taking the ship sinking seriously. Right. They're like, like, yeah, it's unsinkable. Huh. Well, they've been telling him since the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, and they're like, hey, everyone, just put on your life jacket. And so, like, what is this all about? Yeah, I like, right. oh. like the uh, people that work there, like, just, like, kindly knocking on the doors of the upstairs. And then everybody else in third class, whatever, he just freaking, like, busts oh. the door open. Like, yeah, get out, <laughs> life jacket on, see ya. Uh, and jump yeah. down, it's already, like, flooding. I don't know if they existed yet, but, yeah, Titanic did not have a PA system. So they had to, like, go door yeah, by door. still, they were being <laughs> mean. <laughs> yeah, it's not cool. Uh, but, yeah, so they lock up. Jack and David Warner's character is just like there. He wants to stay. Him. Yeah, stay to watch. Yeah, for some reason. That's just I think because he. Oh, up I know his... why. I know why. They're building up to the epic fight scene that they cut out of the movie. <laughs> the captain finds out that the closest ship is four hours away, yeah. and the guy's like, "Yeah, they said they could be here in four hours." And the captain like loses his cool. He's like, four hours. Uh, that should be fine. <laughs> Go about your day." And he's like. Fuck. I'm like, we're going down in one hour. Yeah. We're dead. Much we're like dead. we are right now. The water's coming up. Oh, we're still no. sinking. Remember that? That was like the storyline for the episode. Oh. <laughs> you forgot you about go. it because you were so distracted by the love story in Titanic. Uh, you forgot that this horrible thing was happening. Exactly. <laughs> Just struck by Jack's beauty. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Why does it take so long for Fabrizio to put on his life vest? <laughs> Everyone's wearing life vest, but except for Fabrizio. And I'm like, Fabrizio, you have to live. You Italians are live. good swimmers, so he wasn't really worried about it. You know, Italy is surrounded by water. Was so. this in the, the deleted scene or the regular movie? There's an old guy. He's like, I don't need a life jacket. I want to swim. <laughs> And they're it like, has to be a deleted scene. They're like, I don't... you're not going to swim like 800 miles. <laughs> and yeah. like, right, I guess I'll wear the life jacket. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, poor, poor Jeanette Goldstein is there with her kids. I and know. they're like, are we getting on the boat? She's like, ah, yes, we're going on the boat That's any so minute now. Those poor kids. Yeah. Yeah, poor girl. Um, Warner, uh, David Warner, Lovejoy. I keep forget- I just want to call him David Warner. He, uh, he realizes the ship's sinking, and he's like, huh, ship's going to sink. 
What about that? See you later, Jack. And he just leaves. <laughs> he punches him. Yeah. Yeah. But then he also was showing off the gun like, ha ha, because he was playing with a bullet. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then he goes and loads the gun and yeah. it looks like he's going to shoot him, but then he just punches him. Yeah. And he's like, all right, peace out. You're going to drown. Ha ha. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um. And then Rose which, finally believes Jack. I can't yes. believe that she just left him there at all. Like, how are you not going to believe him? Yeah. What, 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 what changed? Like, you fall in love with him in two days, but then you like just abandon him because he stole the necklace that you don't even yeah 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 i don't know and then like like at first she was like oh he couldn't have he was with me the whole time and then uh what was it uh maybe he took it when you were uh putting your clothes back on oh right right. and then uh (laughs) it was the reveal that the jacket was stolen that it was like gas (laughs) (laughs) like what's a jacket like (laughs) but then she's like no i do love jack and then she spits yeah yeah, because she goes, you know, the mom gets in the boat. and Oh, but we forgot to mention the mom as she's getting on. She's like, uh, I have the tea running in my room when I get the back. Heater. The heater. The heater. <laughs> and then the she's like, oh, are the, um, the lifeboats being seated according to class? Oh, and everything. Yeah. Like, and yeah. that's when Rose uh, starts getting to be like, oh, no, fuck I this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm out. I'm out. I, I got to go save. Like I got to go save Jack. Spits in Cal's face and pieces out. Yep. Yeah. And then there's like, uh, she sees... Uh, Mr. Andrews and he tells her where to go mm-hmm. instead of just like being like lady he's probably dead just get back up there no he believes in true love so he says oh, <laughs> <again>. <laughs> so she goes down it becomes like an action movie for like a second where she's like it's flooding this is like classic uh, well James it's Cameron. not flooding yet she goes down and she finds yeah. him because what was it uh, she tried to use the elevator but they said the elevators aren't working and then she's like uh, yeah I'm not being polite anymore screw you let's go and then the guy's <laughs> like go okay down. realistically that guy I would have been like, get the uh, fuck no. out of this ele- yeah. <laughs> elevator right now, nope. lady. Then it was like flood because the it was like water flooding. came in and then yeah. she goes uh, down and finds yeah, him eventually. She can't find the key. Some guy throws her out of the way to escape. And then, um, what you call it? Another crewman shows up. And he's like, lady, you got to get upstairs. You got to get upstairs. Then she punches him. Well, he's like grabbing her and telling Trying her. Trying to, to like, save her life. She can save her own damn life at this point. I do like when she punches him. She's like, what the hell with you? And yeah, he just right. leaves. I like to imagine that guy lives. Like, don't touch me. <laughs> I want that guy to live. <laughs> uh, she but gets then the axe. She finds the axe. And I do like this scene. So he's like, do a couple practice swings and hit the same spot. Well, <laughs> no, forget that. Yeah. When she's going back, it's more flooded than it was. Yeah. So she has a. She uh, takes off her jacket, and then that gasp that she has when she gets in that water it was like legit too. Yeah, by probably. the way, yeah. probably freezing. <laughs> yeah, they actually had cold water, which yeah. was messed up or whatever. Yeah. But like, you can actually see like her blue lips and everything where she goes and like you know. Yeah, but swing. I like I like that she completely misses, and Jack's like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's another well, practice. Let's go. Yeah, Fine. we're gonna just try just, and go for this. I'm gonna die anyway, so. <laughs> and I do like these scenes. Like, wow, if they weren't like boring me with their awful romance, I probably would have enjoyed this movie a little bit more. <laughs> but she frees them. Yes, and she then frees they them. get the hell out of there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, also he just like knows where to go. Jack just seems to just know just where to go everything. for some reason. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Billy Zane. He can't leave yet. He needs to get Rose. He needs to get Rose. Why is he so attached to her, though? Right? If they don't have money. I don't know. But he was trying to... Smells being toxic as hell, thinking women are a property. Why did he need Rose specifically? I literally think it was just like, oh, arm candy. Mm Mm-hmm. Hmm. That makes sense. And also, he probably isn't used to being rejected. Yeah, that's probably right. That. Exactly. Uh, I know there's a reason to want her later on, but right now it's like, yeah, right, but now cut it's... your losses, get mm-hmm. out of there. Uh, but yeah, he like bribed the one dude to be allowed on the boat, but then he left to go get Rose, and then Ismay just jumps on the boat. <laughs> and I'm right. Like you asshole, yes. you asshole, you unimaginable bastard. That's what Rose says. <laughs> yes. Now. But yeah, <laughs> um, here is where like Mr. Andrews. Or around this point, point, Mr. Andrews is like, hey, what's going on with the light bulbs? There's only 20 people. I saw one with 12. Like, we're afraid of them uh, capsizing. capsizing. He's like, he's like, you idiot. I tested these motherfuckers. I know how they like, get 70 people on those boats. Right. Like, okay. They're what just the- like moving so slowly about it, too. Like, they're just like, oh, okay, you can go on the boat. You can go on the boat. Yeah. Water's getting kind of high. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Uh, it's sinking on your side. We, we should be good. <laughs> Johanna will. Third, third class. Third class. Third class. Oh. Um, Finally. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they, Sweet uh, release of see. death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so I want to mention when Rose jumped off the lifeboat, uh, that means she took this, that was a spot that someone else could have been on. 
And now they're going to die a horrible, painful death because Joe Rose jumped off. Okay, the but what about boat. the lifeboats that they're not filling to capacity? Come on, one spot. We're focusing on Rose right now. I don't care. Because <laughs> what is it? They they like get her back together. They like get them together, yeah. then like get back on the boat, and then she jumps off. Yeah, because she be looks up because there was a deal between Cal and Jack that like um, Cal had an agreement with somebody on the other side where he'll take Jack with him. Yeah. And then Rose is looking and she's like, yeah, like he's not going to take him with him. No. Like this is the last time I'm going to see him. And mm -hmm. he has a nice little shot with the fireworks going behind yeah. him and he looks super Very handsome. And, and she's like, yeah, F this, I'm jumping off. <laughs> so they're running around and because it's a James Cameron movie, there has to be a gun scene. <laughs> yeah. Billy Zane they're smooching on the snare, uh, staircase yeah. or whatever and then yeah he, Billy, Billy Zane's Zane just like <laughs> fuck you <laughs> if I can't have her no one can yeah exactly. no but it's even worse now because like he just starts laughing Dave Warner's like what's up he's like I put the diamond in her coat like an asshole uh, and then this is where the scene happened where like Billy Zane's like well that's fucked and he leaves and David Warner's like well, I'm going for that diamond right and there's a scene where he's like chasing around shooting yeah, and then, yeah like, he's Jack supposed to still be following them and they're like hiding yeah. that's Jack why they were hiding um, if you don't see it with the deleted scene that's why they're still hiding um, yeah. when uh, it cuts to them like down in the water because yeah. it's like that white because wall or whatever they, um, it is they they like injure him. They throw his head through glass, yeah. and that's why later on his head's bleeding. Mm -hmm. And you're like, when that happened? See, it kind of like I didn't really question that because like everything you that's going down with that ship. Yeah, like, but yeah. then it's just yeah. like, why is he not near Bill Pat? Like Bill Zane? Like, what is he doing here? Yeah. It's kind of confusing. But anyway, uh, the flooding of the real sets is like top notch, yeah. like effects work. And again, the miniatures, like that scene where like uh, the camera's coming down the hallway and the water source, and that was just a miniature that they built and they That's just pumped crazy. the water in there. Yeah, I never would have said that. Yeah, but like, it's just cause he's like the fucking master, master. at just blending all of that shit. It was so good. Uh, yeah, the flooding is just awesome. Uh, I think around here is where, uh, is this where um, Victor from The Young and the Restless dies? The guy who plays the richest man on the boat? You know the guy who plays the richest man on the boat, the guy with the mustache. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he dies around. It, it's yeah when the water is like breaking through the. Um, yeah, I think the, it's around here. The yeah, the, the big yeah. win glass window thingy. I've seen I've seen that guy like so many times because my dad watches The Young and the Restless oh, and okay. he's still on The Young and the Restless. Is he really? Yeah, I rarely Jeez. see him in things other than that's so when he showed up like that's Victor and then The Young and the Restless <laughs> theme started playing in my oh head. My God. That, that doesn't, doesn't happen until that. later though because it's not until Jack later. and Rose are like already like out of the ship and trying to go up to the um, stern. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Okay, okay. I know it was part of like the big flooding. Scene. Yeah. Then this part, uh, apparently this didn't happen and apparently this was a real guy. But the dude that Billy Zane paid, he mm -hmm. like throws the Mr. money Murdoch. back at him. Yeah. Huh? Mr. Murdoch. Mr. Murdoch, yeah. And then like everyone's getting out of control and he shoots the Irish guy. And then he's like, well, I'm bad. And then he shoots himself. Yeah. Apparently that yeah. didn't happen. That did not happen. He literally stayed and helped as much people as he could. Um, it's really apparently mean. James Cameron really had mean. to like write an apology to the actual family of his. Yeah. To be like, oh, yeah, man. I'm sorry for doing that. Because apparently like he was like a big hero. Oh, my so, like, God. Yeah. What the fuck is this? That's a problem with a lot of these like biopics and like historical dramas. Like you gotta add stuff. Well, just in. like in general, yeah. like as much as I love this movie, I'm still mad that they haven't focused on like any of the real people because some of these people were like really interesting. Like yeah. they're the only one of the guy was a Guggenheim. Yeah, there mm -hmm. was one guy who was the only African American on the ship or whatever who had a white family. Yeah. Like why couldn't they focus on that? That right. would have been interesting to know. Yeah, the only people of color they show is that one, like I guess Arab family for like a second. Yeah, they like I don't even they can't. Remember. Yeah, they they cuts to them. They can't like read the signs and oh, they're like, trying okay. to translate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there were there were like real people yeah, on there. Like absolutely. I said, that really rich guy, he just fucking died, and yeah. uh, which called a fashion designer. Like that lady was fashion designer was on yeah. there. There was like the Macy's owners, yep. right? Yep. The yeah. Old yeah. And then uh, this is the most heroic scene of the movie. Oh well, no, I know what you're gonna do. They're they're taking a, a lifeboat down. And Billy Zane sees a poor little girl by herself. And he's like, I need to save that little girl. So he grabs her and he pretends to be her father so he can save her to get on the boat. Please, how much she has in the world? Oh, Tony. Yeah. Do you know what that's called? What? Kidnapping. No, it's <laughs> called saving. And do, you know what? That little girl grew up to be Susan B. Anthony. No, she didn't. How do you know? <laughs> Oh my god. Number one, uh, that child didn't exist for real. This is a false story. <laughs> you could be lying. What's number two? What? Number two, that she wasn't even alive at that point. It wasn't like she wasn't that age. Oh. That makes no that sense. That little girl grew up to be Ruth Bader Ginsburg and be <laughs> yeah, Billy, yeah. Billy Zane yeah. saved her. 
He's a hero. Let's all clap for believing. <laughs> no. I'm really no. good at rewriting history. I think no. I watched this movie the right way. No. I, I no. watch movies the right way. People watch them. Like when I watch Lion King, I'm like, wow, Scar is trying to include the people who get left out of the animal kingdom and all oh, that drought just screwed up his plans. This anyway. is why I don't like watching movies with you. <laughs> and you talk way too much. <laughs> Uh, I do love when people just decide to give up, like the Guggenheim guy. He's like, ah, yeah. we're dressing our best. We're going down. Yeah. I, I also do like that moment where he sees the water coming in. And he's he's like, terrified. He's like, maybe this wasn't a good idea. Yeah. Maybe I should have just tried to get off of gotten off. Uh, I mean, there's no point at that point. Yeah, this part's okay. sad for the lady with the baby. It's like, hey, what are we going to do? And the captain's like... Yeah, I'm just going to go on my depressive episode and seal myself in this room and die. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently that might not have happened. Mm. Probably not. People say they claim to see him there, but then mm. there were some reports that he might have like been on a boat or like tried to get away and just didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, the band the, has been playing this whole time. The baby thing was real, by the way. Like the not like him turning away, but there was a baby that was found. That and they sense. don't know who it was, which is kind of messed up. That but yeah, oh, wow. uh, the band has been playing this whole time. They have to keep it lighthearted. Yeah. And then they decide to play as the ship's going down. Yeah. And I, I was wondering because we don't see it. I'm like, are they like playing underwater? Like, when do they stop playing? And Probably when they physically can't. <laughs> well, I imagine they got sucked What do they down. play? Nearer to yeah. God to Thee? Is that what the song mm -hmm. is called? That was in one of the other movies. There's an old Titanic movie where they sing that as they're going oh, down. They sing it. But yeah, yeah Apparently yeah. that's supposed to be like what people believe was actually happening, but no one really knows for real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. it's good for dramatic effect, but it's just like, I'm sure that like big fucking, uh, what do they call it? Cello? I'm yeah. sure that's a flotation device. Uh, yeah, the cello right. guy should have been like, hey, you fucking losers with your violin. Peace out. I got a See canoe. Ya. Like he just howls out the Speaking cello. of the band, I still crack up that they had like the pretty like like festive music happening as this ship is clearly <laughs> singing. <laughs> it's like, look, I get what you're trying to do, but like, come on. Yeah. Come on, man. And then this they're, like, is- They're crying while they're playing. Then we get the really sad montage of everyone dying horribly. Like Jeanette Goldstein is like putting her putting kids, her to, sleep. kids to sleep, and then like the two married couple yeah, are like, Yeah, that's hugging. the Macy's owner. Those are the Macy's yeah. owners? Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Mm -hmm. Uh, they cut out the scene where like Fabrizio wants Helga to come with him, and she's like, I'm gonna stay with my family. Yeah, no, oh. poor Fabrizio, poor Fabrizio. And then Fabrizio, speaking of him. He finally puts his life jacket on. Yeah, because it's really starting to go down yeah. at that point. So he's, <laughs> he's like, like, yeah. Okay, he takes it from his Irish on. guy friend. Yeah, he takes it from the <laughs> Irish guy, yeah. Well, he doesn't need it anymore. Uh, the Irish. <laughs> and again, with foreshadowing, he won a knife earlier in the movie. Mm -hmm. And that's the knife he uses to help cut down the lifeboat that gets stuck because he's a hero. He is a hero. He is a yeah. hero. He's such a good boy. An yeah. Italian hero. Yeah. Italian I cut out, I, I had a joke, but then I cut it out because I realized he, he got the knife. But I said he had a knife because Italians are prone to violence. But I was like, oh, wait, no, he won it in the card game. <laughs> Tony, are you going to violence? Very. <laughs> and then the saddest scene happens. The smokestack breaks and it crushes poor Fabrizio. He's like, oh, no. Oh, no. And then because of that. Well, he sings opera while he goes <laughs> Also. <laughs> Just like, the, like Pavarotti. <laughs> also, Cal pushing people off the lifeboat, being all like, oh, you'll swamp us. And it's just like. Yeah. Excuse me? He's like, he's like, get off the boat. I have Ruth Bader Ginsburg here. <laughs> get off. I need to say Do her. you not know history? <laughs> Doesn't seem important now, but I'm pretty sure she's alive at this yeah. point. Oh I my God. Tony's telling the story, right? But yeah, Fabrizio just gets crushed and like, well, there's the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. There's World War II. Vietnam Terrible. all could have been avoided. With it Fabrizio. all could have been. It's all Fabrizio. <laughs> so at the very end, well, not at the very end, but like toward the end, the ship is now it's broken in half, I think. Right. It's about to. Yes. And, and then in real it, life, the, was it Jack and Rose are still trying to make it up to the stern. Yeah, Everyone's just like and going everybody, to the back yeah, of the ship. And, and everybody's dry, mm -hmm. dying. Yeah. Uh, that's the scene where you see the dude with the um, giant glass dome. The water starts. Oh, right, right. Then right, he right, dies because right. it, like literally it's starting to show like everybody dying, people sliding yeah. down to their deaths and stuff like that. Yeah. And I will say uh, the <laughs> digital, the digital stunt doubles are used perfectly. They're used very briefly at night so they don't stand out. I've watched a couple of movies from the 90s recently with digital stunt doubles mm. and I'm like, that is not a real person. No, oh, no. Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> and Batman and Robin, that is not you. George Clooney skydiving and Batman and Robin, like that looks terrible. But James Cameron's smart. He's like, we're only gonna use these for a couple seconds mm -hmm. so you can't tell. Can't tell. Oh my God. Yeah, uh, but yeah, so they get to the end of the boat and Rose is like, this is where we first met. Yeah. This is where we first met. Because yeah. she she can't go five 
goddamn seconds without making something about herself. She can't go five seconds. They're literally about to die, and she made light of the situation. Yeah, Jack should be like, hey, Rose, this isn't cute. <laughs> this isn't, I know you think this is cute, but like, this is like a uh, real- Well, he thought it was cute because he kissed her on the forehead. Exactly. <sighs> this is where we met, and this is probably where we're going to die. So she was making it <laughs> yeah. romantic. Also, I couldn't believe this part. After that, they cut to the plates in the kitchen falling. I'm like, they just it's started just now. falling now? <laughs> I'm like, those plates were... Like, what the fuck are those plates on? My favorite <laughs> scene where it's not supposed to be funny, but I remember bursting out laughing, is when um, the drunk dude or whatever, the guy who's, like, drinking out of the flask, looks over yeah. at the end, and you finally see the propellers that, you know, Rose really wanted to see, <laughs> and the dude hits it and just flies. Oh, yeah, oh my God. God. I lost it. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, is, he's definitely dead, no. but... Like, maybe that would really happen, but, again, it's 90 CGI, so it just looked a little funnier because he's just spinning. <laughs> he's getting oh. faster as he hits the ground. So that guy, I was telling her about this, that's the chef of the ship. Is it? Mm. Yes, that's why he's wearing all white. I was oh. watching him, like, why do they keep cutting to this guy all dressed in white with the funny face. They cut out uh, an earlier scene of him when he was still wearing a chef hat. He's throwing the chairs overboard uh, so they can be used uh, as like flotation noise. And he's like drinking whiskey because he's like, this shit's fucked. No. And then like, that's why he's drinking whiskey later. He's like, oh man, things are getting crazy. In real life, he survived and he lived to be 79. Like he survived. The dude who hit the wow. propeller? No, 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 the chef, oh, the guy all white. Okay. He was a real guy. He helped a bunch of people. He got really drunk and then he just survived and yeah. made it out. I heard they tried to say something with him that uh, because of him drinking so much, it like saved him from the water. But like, that's not that's like, not well, true. you yeah. feel warm. Right. Yeah, that like, was, that's a myth. They're like, yeah, it makes you warmer. It's like, no, it's just you're, you're too drunk. You can't feel the cold. Exactly. Died <laughs> uh, but no, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, but it's it's weird. There's so much that happens in this movie that when you cut out a little thing, it makes we things later in the movie weird. I'm like, mm -hmm. why do they keep cutting to the yeah. Yeah, know, true. just giving them funny faces? <laughs> Also, who was the was the girl? Anyone? Rose keeps looking at the girl. That was Helga. That was Helga. That was Helga. God damn it, Jack! You killed Helga too. Oh. <laughs> See, I didn't know that was Helga because they yeah, cut that out was so Helga. I can't. They, yep. the, we could have trimmed out a little bit of the dancing and had the couple scenes yeah, to sample. Yeah. That. Yeah. Makes um, sense. Then it cuts to Murdoch and he's bleeding, and then the ship starts to go. <laughs> yes, and and real life, it did not split in half. So is that like a known fact now? Yeah, I actually watched, uh, like a year or two ago, I watched a new documentary with James Cameron. So I think that split like between the third and fourth stack. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, instead of like that, it went underwater yeah, it went and under, went and that way. The, it like twisted Yeah, and then uh, went down. I mean, okay. at the t they were going on what they knew at the time. At the time, yeah. So Because it's yep. still split. It's just it didn't split like that. Right. And luckily, James but, Cameron's not really George Lucas, so he's not going to go back and change it. I don't no, even know exactly. how he would. <laughs> But weren't there witnesses at the time that were like, oh, I saw the Titanic from the lifeboat and it- Well, that's probably why no one mentioned it you know. splitting before. Right. Like no one ever mentioned it because it happened underwater. They probably mm -hmm. just didn't know. But yeah, who knows how accurate they're- Yeah. No one was writing no, exactly. as it was happening. Yeah. So right. it spits and then it goes like this yes. and this breaks off and Are goes Are you Fabrizio with yes. that accent? <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes under and then it just bobs for a little bit and then right. it goes down. And then uh, this scene. The blue screen is real dodgy on this scene, too. The blue screen is real hit or miss. Yeah, I didn't notice that either. Yeah, they look like real blurry around that, their Yeah, line. that I noticed, but I yeah. kind of figured it was just like weird lighting so you yeah. could actually see what was going down down there. Yeah, but... it would look better now. It would look better now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, also, that I think the propeller never even got that high up. Like, like, I think the I ship yeah. didn't, never went directly right. up. I think it just went up a little, a little bit, bit and then down. And then, yeah. Uh, so yeah, apparently Jack just knows what's going to happen. He's like, the ship's going to pull us under when it goes under. And it's like, I'm sorry, are you into physics? Like, how do See, you fucking like, he know He knows everything. He does. He knows too much. Very knowledgeable. He traveled a lot. I guess yeah, so. Well he, was, he was like, oh, yeah, I've been on so many boats. That's Met a lot of people, right? <laughs> he knows a lot, a lot of people. Uh, but yes, yeah, so the boat finally goes under. Which and makes them a perfect match. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but they survive. Yes. And they're, they're For now. <laughs> they're adrift in the water. <laughs> uh, and they, they go to that door. Yeah, the door that apparently no one else saw, but yeah. Jack just knew it was there. Now, right? everyone points out that, like, oh, the door, they could have both been on it, but they show the scene where he tries to get on it and it almost capsizes. Yeah, and even if they did, parts of their body would be in the water, so yeah. they both would have died anyway. Yeah, so they're, they're just kind of adrift. I think he like fights a guy. Another guy tries to drown Rose for like yeah. a second. Yeah, because he didn't have a life jacket on, yeah. and she did. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, he's holding her on the boat, making sure she's okay. The and boat. Said, yeah. The, the door. The, the, the whatever. The door. And he's basically like, meeting you was the best thing ever. It's like, you're, what the fuck are you talking about? 
D- that's not ever. You were, you were an art. <laughs> you were an artist about to go back to America with your new life and free. your Italian. It was a free ticket. <laughs> yeah, you with your Italian friend who was going to stop World War II. Oh my and God! All he wanted was love, and he found it <sighs> in Rose. And now it's over. I don't know. Also, I have to agree with you with Rose being a terrible person. <laughs> well, it's now ten it's now hours into me. this review, you finally agree with me. <laughs> There was room for Jack on that. No, they showed it. It almost capsized. <laughs> like, it's just because it's wide enough doesn't mean it would have stayed still. I know, still. but you know what? In, on, I think it was Mythbusters. Mythbusters, they did this. They took the life jacket and they put it under the door so that it was afloat, so that it could hold both. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Hmm. See, Jack, yeah. being smart as he is. Also, I forgot that. to mention, uh, I think the middle propeller uh, wasn't able to be reversed. So that was a design mm. flaw. That could have helped them out a little bit. Like It was like a thing where like, the middle propeller can only go one way and the two smaller ones could be reversed. Yeah. So when they stopped, it was just, because now it's not moving mm. and it's blocking the water. It was a big oh, problem. Man. <laughs> anyway, good. so yeah, everyone else is just kind of just bobbing around. Yeah. Starts to get quiet. Yes. Yes. And he's all like, you got to promise me to be a strong, independent woman, Rose. He literally say, he basically <laughs> says that. He's like, you got to be strong and right. you're well, going like, to ride don't... a horse. Don't go off with Cal and get married just for money. Like, no, he's like, yeah, live your life. Fly planes, ride a horse. Uh, I don't know. Make the 19th Amendment happen. Did that happen at that point? <laughs> oh my God. So women can vote. Like, I'm sure she had something to do with that. All because Probably. of this scene. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, you're you're the perfect Rose. Everything's going to be really great. And I'm just going to die in the water <laughs> because I just couldn't stay on third deck. <laughs> this water needs to hurry up and drown me. <laughs> And then I didn't notice this. I didn't notice this till like way later in the movie. The lifeboat that comes back, the mm-hmm. guy, you know, the guy in charge is it's Mr. Fantastic from the Jessica Alba Fantastic Four movies. Yes, I, it is. I can't pronounce uh-huh. his name. It's like, yes, I- it is. O-A-N- yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm looking at him like, I know that guy. And I'm like, oh, shit, that's Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, only one lifeboat went back to yeah. look for people. And they found like six, I guess, including Rose. Uh, But again, foreshadowing, they showed the guy had the whistle. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, oh, she's like, bye, Jack. I'll I'll never let go of our promise. (laughs) Honestly, the most disturbing scene of that, not as the fact that like, oh, he's dead. But when she had to like rip Rip her hand from his hand, I was like, oh, my God. (laughs) That part was kind of funny. It's like, I love you, Jack. (laughs) (laughs) And then he puts her in the water. It puts him in the water, and then he. But bodies float, right? Yeah, so, dead bodies float. Oh so realistically, she should have been like, "Bye, Jack." And then he goes down, and then just like pops back up, throws it. <laughs> like it's she's just like, ah! <laughs> but she can't scream because she just talks too goddamn much. No. <laughs> she probably lost her voice, so she That's finds why. the whistle and starts blowing it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, only only one lifeboat went back. <laughs> this is mean. Mm-hmm. Oh, they showed that there was another guy in a lifeboat that just didn't want to go back. The captain, like, called him back, and he's like, nah, not doing it. That was a deleted scene. That was a deleted scene? I watched the deleted scenes right after watching this movie. Okay, so if my memory's foggy about this movie, it's because I watched tape one late at night, Mm -hmm. and then uh, the next morning, my cat decided I needed to wake up at 6.45 a.m., and he did this by biting my nipple for some reason. Oh. So I woke I'm like asleep and I'm like, ow! And then he's just staring at me I'm like, what the fuck? And then I was too scared to go back to sleep. And I'm like, well, I guess I'm watching Titanic now. And I sent you that picture where I forced him to watch Titanic. I took two pictures of my cat watching Titanic and he just looks bored as shit. Your cat I'm is so biting happy. your nipple. And my cat is like normal and loves me and doesn't want to physically you know, harm You know what he did to me the night before? This fat ass sneezed on you. Well, he always does that. But I, I was wearing shorts and I was at like my dining table watching the movie and he decided he wanted to jump on my lap. You saw he jumped on my lap the other day, mm. uh, but he's fat and not graceful. Oh. So he tripped and he just dig his, dug his nails into my oh. leg. Like, ah! No. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jack and Rose are like dancing. I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> so that's why my memory's a little fuzzy. Right. I was watching this very early in the morning and then I watched the delete scenes like right afterwards. Right, so they're yeah. just blending together. <laughs> A million hours later, this broad finally finishes her story and never gets around to telling them what happened to the heart of the ocean. Kind of like a roundabout way of just saying, I don't know. I'm not yeah. going to tell you. What What? What the fuck was that? Bill Paxton would be like, come on, lady. Like, I've got two days left. Like, oh my we God. really need to. Come on. Come on. Where and then also, it? was it the Car- Carpathia? Carpathia? I forgot Carpathia how it was. Carpathia was the shit. Yeah. Right? Um, 
when they came and uh, rescued who they could rescue, uh, my favorite scene is uh, she has the blanket over her head and everything. Yeah. And then Cal comes down looking for her and Jack, thinking that, like, you know, obviously they yeah. would be together if, like, you know, yeah. whatever. And somehow she knows the sound of his shoes. Yeah, right. Like, so she just kind of, like, at peeks him. and she's like, oh, so, shit. <laughs> so then she says, I found out he did marry another wealthy person. And then the Great Depression happened. And he put his mm. pistol in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, or so she read. Outstanding guy. Fabrizio could have saved Billy Zane by stopping the stock market crash. Fabrizio is a hero for dying so that Cal died during the can, Great can Depression. We, can we make a movie where we go back in time to save Fabrizio? <laughs> We need to save Fabrizio. <laughs> Did you ever see, uh, I, I think it was on YouTube, but um, it was a skit saying uh, it was Titanic 2. Oh, yeah. But they go and find Jack's <laughs> they, like, body in an icicle him. and they unfreeze <laughs> him and then it's kind of like um, Demolition Man. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so they go to ask Rose her name and I couldn't believe this shit watching this today. She's like, Dawson, Rose Dawson. And I'm like, oh my God. Dawson. Rose Dawson. Is that where J.J. Abrams Yeah, J.J. Abrams was like, write that down, write that down. <laughs> Have you seen the new Star Wars movies? No, thank God. Don't. Uh, <laughs> they start off okay, and then they quickly yeah, fall that's apart. that's what I heard. So at the very end of episode nine, Rey, the, the, the new girl who's the hero, mm -hmm. she's the Emperor's granddaughter. By the way, the Emperor's still alive. I know what you're thinking, Trisha. I'm like, pretty sure Darth Vader threw his body down the Death Star and he blew up. He just came back. Oh, Ask me how. How? The movie never tells you. Uh, <laughs> I love how they completely ruined so, Darth Vader's whole character yeah, because of yeah. that. So then episode nine, she's all like conflicted because she's the granddaughter of the ultimate bad guy. And then at the end, uh, she's at Luke Skywalker's old house. And some lady's like, what's your name? She goes, Ray. And then she sees Luke and Leia's ghost and she goes, Ray Skywalker. And then I'm watching oh. Titanic. I'm like, I think they stole that from Titanic. Holy shit. Oh my God. When I saw that in theaters, by the way, literally everybody groaned. <laughs> yeah. Everyone oh, groaned. Everybody They're was bad. like, They're bad. <laughs> yeah, the people were like, no, don't do it. Don't do yeah. it. Oh. So here's the biggest bullshit of the movie. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> this is a long episode. Uh, here's the biggest bullshit of the movie. Uh, Rose says... Uh, I never told anyone about Jack, including my husband. And I'm like, bullshit, you can't shut up for five seconds, Rose. You probably, I bet you, you got into a fight with your husband. You're like, <laughs> well, Jack thought I looked pretty. And he's like, who's Jack? And then she's like, the man I met on a cruise. Let me tell you about Jack. He grew up in Wisconsin. Her husband's like, oh my God, she's giving me a life story. <laughs> No, I don't think she told anyone. Yeah, so uh, she never told anyone. She didn't even tell any anyone that she was on the Titanic. I'm like, that's, mm, that's right. pretty weird. Uh, even the fat guy's like, there's no record of Jack. And like, yeah, he was third class. Why would there be? Also, he won the ticket. There was, also, yeah, yeah. if anything, yeah. they're like, a Sven went missing. <laughs> yeah. And then the real life Sven was like, I'm dead? What happened? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Did you know that there was a Jay Dawson on the Titanic, though, yep. right? Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Um, but Not yeah, Jack, though. Bill Paxson is sad because... Uh, he really wanted that diamond, and he'll never get get it. But he's happy that he heard the story of the Titanic from a survivor. It's heartwarming. And at the time this was made, there were still a few survivors. He could have just went to them if he wanted to hear the story he, of the yeah. Titanic. <laughs> he's but pissed. he wanted he wanted that money. He wanted the money from the diamond. You know what he was going to use that money for? Women's shelters. So Rose took. I'm pretty sure he was like, I'm going to sell the diamond. I'm going to fund a bunch of women's shelters. And Rose is like, not having yeah. that. Because she's selfish. Yeah, she also didn't want to use Cal's money. Yeah, but if someone else could have used Cal's money. Oh, my God. Like, no. Are you going to sell that? <laughs> no. Well, can you give it to me so I can sell it? No. <laughs> the, story, the story's sinking, Trish. I need no, to rebuild this. No, I'm going to throw it in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so Bill Paxson's all sad, but he's like, whatever, the story was good. And then Rose goes to the edge of the ship the back of the ship, the much stern. like the Titanic, mm -hmm. the stern. You know what's funny? I technically have a boating license, and I don't know any of this oh, shit, because I cheated on my test to get the boating license. Oh, that's nice. I don't even know where my license is, but I am licensed oh to drive a boat. God. I couldn't tell you shit. I'm never getting on a boat with you. Yeah. Nor should you. I don't even like, I get motion sickness. I don't go on boats. Why do you have a license? My mom forced me to get a boating license because she thought I was going to boat all the time. Mm -hmm. And then every time I tried to drive a boat, she was just a backseat driver, so it wasn't fun. Oh. And then as a passenger, I just got sick. And I'm like, we've had a boat for like 15, 16 years. I've only been on it three times. Oh, wow. Because it just gets me nauseous. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, so she she brings the heart of the ocean 
And then she's like, because uh, uh, she had it in her jacket. Yeah, it does a flashback where yeah. uh, she's, you know, arriving at New York or whatever, and then yeah. she goes in her pocket and she's, she's like, like oh. oh, what's this? Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh. But yeah, she's all like, I'm going to return it to the ocean. And it's a nice, quiet moment just between her and the ocean, dropping the heart of the ocean to the heart of the ocean, the ocean floor, which contains her heart, which is Jack. Even though technically he's not down there, he was probably eaten by crabs and sharks and stuff. Yeah. Uh, he's probably died like a really long time ago. Um, <laughs> or he was maybe recovered. I did watch that video I was watching, what happened to the bodies of the Titanic. Mm. Uh, two ships went back and they grabbed like 300 bodies. Oh, wow. But they weren't allowed to have them on the ship unless they embalmed them, but they ran out of embalming fluid. So they're oh. like, well, 300's good enough. Oh, and then there were some that so they sad. were like, some of them are fucked. And then they just, you know, they got eaten and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she drops the heart and it's very, very symbolic. And yes. then she dies peacefully. Unless you watch the alternate ending. Yeah. Where uh, Bill Paxton and everyone <laughs> sees her. And they're like, what the hell? You've had it the entire <laughs> time. That's one. I agree it's a better ending with just her in the ocean. Oh, yeah. But then yeah. Bill Paxton doesn't really get a good ending. Because he had the whole thing. He's like, when I leave this boat, my hand's going to be like this. Yeah. Holding the heart of the ocean. So he like runs up. He's like, Rose. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? She's like, I'm going to return it. And she says, she's like, the hardest part about being so poor was being so rich at the same time. <laughs> uh, and then he lets her hold it. She lets, she him. lets him. She lets him hold the diamond. And why he doesn't just punch her in the face, I don't know. Because <laughs> he wanted to get busy with the granddaughter. Right. Because they literally show at the end like, of that that they go on a uh, date. Yeah, they're like. Trying to, that diamond was real right now. I would rip it off there and would be busy with everyone's face? granddaughter. <laughs> 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 like, oh, like no. you can get hotter granddaughters. <laughs> so he lets her have it. And I love when she throws oh, yeah. it in. She does the, oh. She yeah, does the, like, oh, makes that noise. in both. Wait. But in the alternate one, she throws it over yeah, her she shoulder. Yeah, she just goes, woohoo. <laughs> and I love the fat guy, Lewis. She's like, that really sucks, lady. <laughs> Oh my god, Lewis! <laughs> I did like uh, yeah. the Rose dying peacefully thing, whatever, and how it showed like all the pictures because she did do everything, did do everything. that yeah. Jack and her talked about when they were together. Yeah, and then you know, then they show the cut going down to the ocean. Yeah. So wait, are there souls stuck on the Titanic? I guess. Or did they didn't go to heaven or anything? You know what I it mean, is? That's tragic. You know what it is? Their souls are still stuck there. Mm-hmm. They need a demon to get a tugboat to go there and salvage all the souls, like in the movie right. Ghost Ship. Check out our ghost ship review. <laughs> but yeah, they're all on the board, on the ship. They're all clapping. Oh, the captain's there clapping. I she got to I reunite can't. with her true love. Yeah. Which is really mean to her husband. Yeah. Look at the fuck. Sucks for that. Her dream. husband's like, I had a life with, he's in heaven. I mean, yeah, when you think about it that way, it's pretty fucked up. Yeah, he's but. just like, he's like in heaven <laughs> with, I don't know, whatever. And he's like, any minute now, yeah. she'll come here any minute now. And then she's some like, other angel- <laughs> just kidding, because I settled. Yeah, and then <laughs> fucking some angel's like, hey, she's on Titanic World. And he's like, oh, no. <laughs> and then Billy Zane's also in heaven. He's like, I told you. I told you. <laughs> you got cucked, too. <laughs> I really want to make Same a movie about everybody. the husband of Rose. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, that is the end of Titanic. Beautiful. And as annoying as the song is by Celine Dion. It's not annoying. That wasn't supposed to be a thing either because James Cameron hated the fact that like, you know, love stories and stuff had like their own specific songs. <sighs> yeah. So they, they recorded that in secret. James Horner did it. Yeah. yeah with and Celine then, Dion. Yeah, with Celine Dion and then gave it to um, friggin' uh, James Cameron and was like, yeah, so we did this. And he was like, oh, never mind. I love this. Let me guess. <laughs> did it work? Uh, yes. Best original song. So it worked out. It never ends. I mean, it's it, like... Always it was on the, the radio best. the other day. I sent you yeah. the text. I turn on my radio and it's just playing. I'm like, all right. Oh, it's so uh, good. I'll still scream the lyrics. I, I don't care. Oh, yeah. like, it's my go to like, karaoke song. So the song, song's whatever. I miss James Horner. His music was so good. Mm-hmm. And he died in a plane crash a yeah. few years ago. Oh. Yeah, I mean, he recycled a lot of his own music. That was like He a does problem. do that a lot. He does do that. Apparently, like the big action scene in Aliens is from another movie. A movie I love, but I haven't seen in a while. So huh. like this memorable piece of music, he just copied himself. <laughs> he also likes to use uh, a lot of brass. Yeah. Is, uh, I love that. Uh, he did like uh, Star Trek II's score. Kroll's score is really good. He's a, he's a really Didn't good. did he composer. do? What? Batman. No, that's James Newton Howard. <laughs> that's right. He's still alive. James Horner's dead. Mm. Uh, yes. Yeah, so Titanic. How do you guys feel about it today? 
Oh, my favorite movie. Ever. I will continue. still. You haven't seen any other better movie? No. I'll continue to rewatch and rewatch and rewatch. Oh, yeah. Comes yeah. out in theaters again. I'm going. Oh, so look, it was real edgy to hate on this movie for a long time. You can't hate on it because it was annoying, especially when you're in third grade and the girl they force you to sit next to won't shut up about Titanic. <laughs> I was but, your rose, basically. <laughs> I just wouldn't shut up. I was, I was Billy Zane. I'm like, oh no, I'm Bill Paxton. I'm like, oh Real my God. Fun. Just she's shut talking up. about the fucking Titanic again. <laughs> so yeah, uh, looking back as an adult, watching this for the first time as like a full adult. I appreciate it. I like it. It's a technical masterpiece. Yeah. Uh, effects wise, all the pieces are there. I think the story is pretty lame. The love story. Mm. I don't think the characters are that great. I think they're great. I don't oh, know. I, I don't. Really like I don't them. think the love story had to be front and center. But I think that's what drew in the audiences. That's true. This movie was in theaters for a goddamn yeah. year. Mm -hmm. Like they, like the only. I'm thinking of the last movie that did that was like Black Panther. They left that movie in theaters mm -hmm. for like a year. Long. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, I made a shit ton of money. The most money. Uh. Yeah, there's a famous scene of George Lucas making Phantom Menace, Star mm -hmm. Wars: The Phantom Menace, and there's a video of him going. We're never going to be Titanic. No one like even while he's making the movie, he thinks it's going to be the biggest thing ever. He's like, it's we're dead. We can't beat it. It'll never make it. It'll never make it. But yes. So Titanic, uh, I think it's OK. There we go. And uh, we're about to drown. We are about oh to drown. And guys, God. look, 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 I I am a gentleman. I'm wearing a nice suit. Mm -hmm. hat. Right. And You're I a being a gentleman, I'm going to let the ladies go first. Uh, you guys will survive and I will go down with the store. Um, we're going in the Fleas because... before beauty. Oh. Yeah. Now, here's the problem, though. There's only one. There's only one tube. So only one of you is getting out alive. Uh, but I'll stay behind and you guys can fight it out. And hey, what's that over there? I saw that coming. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talking about tapes.